we live? Are we live? Uh oh. Um, where is volume? Oh, I see. Where is volume? All right, cool. Fantastic. Let's continue with Terraria, shall we? Wherein I've done a little bit of digging down here to prepare for hard mode. Um, I'm going to dig down this way as well to make sure this is cut off from any of the evil biomes. I might want to do the same at the desert and jungle houses. Um, the the mushroom pylon with the with the dungeon is going to be totally fine, even if evil biome spreads over here. Although it'd probably be better if we don't have evil biome right here. Uh, down this way probably won't get corrupted, and even if it did, it wouldn't really be a problem. As you can see, I've been placing some moon glow for some nice night lighting. Uh, it hasn't all grown yet, that's the only trouble with it. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to it. Um, basically, my next task is probably to kill Skeletron. Um, I have saved up a few fallen stars for the old star cannon, which normally I would never use until, like, the wall of flesh. Um, although I stopped using anything other than bees against the wall of flesh after I discovered how powerful those are for that specific fight. Um, but yeah, we've got, like, 148 stars... That should at least make that fight a bit easier. Um, I'm trying to save up for a reforge, though. Uh, we do have a, a roll or two. Strong doesn't really do anything. Broken is obviously not what we're looking for. Lazy is definitely not it either. Um, and to get the materials to just try again, instead of paying money, I would have to pay stars every time. And stars, we're trying to save up as ammo. Uh, I took some dungeon bricks over here, and this is basically our tree farm. Although, I'm doing a little experiment to see if they'll grow next to the, uh, clay pots as well. Um... I may have actually put in enough clay pots here that none of these trees will grow. We'll give it some time and have a peek. Um, but the idea is when we knock a bomb out of the tree, uh, it's only going to destroy like three dirt tiles or so. Uh, what's the time? 10.16pm. If we go a bit later in the night, we'll find a lot more stars. Um, I don't need an item or anything to start the Skeletron fight. I do need Grav Potions, which I've got a few saved up, um, to attempt this fight. I don't see myself winning it jumping around on the ground. Uh, we'll probably want to... Probably want to drag him over to the left, where there's a bunch of flat ground and, um, and no evil biome, and no sky island to run into. Give me those stars. And an owl. So many owls. They never land. Uh, since I changed the terrain here a bit, so this has sort of become like an owl factory if we, uh, if we want to grab them. Anyway, so my plan against Skeletron is basically going to be... Uh, 
Uh, I wonder if Mini Shark is strong enough. I mean, I'm going to use the Star Cannon until I run out of ammo against because we'll have multiple targets to pierce through. It's also a lot of damage. I imagine the Mini Shark will be good enough. Um, so we're looking at the usual potions, Grav Potion, Endurance, uh, Wrath. Do we have any Wrath? Or Rage Potions. I think I've got a handful of fish with which to make Rage Potions. Here we go, Hemo Piranhas. Uh, we can make some plus 10% crit potions with that. That's particularly good for low damage per shot weapons. And what else? I've got some... I don't think I want to consume Golden Delight when I'm potentially about to die to a boss. I'd rather get some major improvements to stats that are not so expensive and long-lasting. Um, do I have any food lying around or food that I can make that is major improvements without the very rare ingredients? I don't think so. Yeah, I might have to risk one of those. I mean, what else am I going to use it for? Just 48 random minutes of uh, stat bonuses. I guess if I'm going down to the underworld or something, that's not bad either. Or the jungle. Uh, I did find one. Um, probably want to do this first, actually. I found one hive so we can fight the queen bee. Let's get some light. And a minion. Uh, it's a pretty bad little arena for the Queen Bee, though. Probably the smallest I've ever seen. That might not necessarily be a bad thing. It depends on where she goes and the angle that I have to shoot her little bees and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to get our Fallen Stars up above, like, 200. Maybe I should even use the Fallen Stars against the Queen Bee. Don't underestimate her. But then... Well, I was going to say, I think we need it more for Skeletron. Um, but on the other hand... If I lose the Queen Bee fight, um, I either have to find another arena, or I have to put together an item to summon her again. And I think we can't actually get the item to summon her without, uh, what is it called? Something that she drops. Could be wrong. Anyway. Weird bridge. What are we up to? 178 stars. I don't think I have access to any ranged gear to reduce ammo consumption. Um, I could try... I could try underwater fishing... Uh, underwater? Underground fishing in the jungle. Uh, I can't actually remember if it's possible pre-hard mode to get a potion of uh, ammo reservation. But it's worth a try. It'd be nice if you could eventually buy Fallen Stars. The hard mode upgrade to the Star Cannon isn't even that good. Hello, Fairy? Alright, that's morning. Let's do a little fish. I did just get the golden uh, fishing rod as well. 
Underground and caverns. So I guess I'll fight the Queen Bee. It's probably going to be my next move. Let's do a little fishing loadout. Oh, I've got a few uh, crates saved up as well, but I think I might want to grab a luck potion before I open them. There's our bonefish. And we get another seaweed planter. I actually found another one of these already. Um, and I placed it... I placed it here. Where is it? Wasn't it in this chest? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I placed it here. And this actually became no longer valid housing. For some reason and the angler was kicked out of it i don't know why that would be maybe it's possible to just have too many things covering the back walls or something i don't know i i think it's that they have to have a certain number of floor tiles and like these are considered inaccessible sort of i'm not entirely sure anyway how much money do we have? Can I re-roll this once more? 13 got... Oh, I did have some in reserve. Now we're down to 20 silver. Superior Star Cannon. Plus 10% damage, plus 3% crit. I'll take it. That will help. Alright. So... What I might do is just take a water walking potion so that the honey poses no threat to mobility unless I want to dip my feet into it for a regen buff. Um, and we're basically just going to have to like jump up and down on this one spot. I'm frankly kind of terrified. Especially considering how nasty the queen bee was on the don't dig up seed. Um, I'm more than, more than a little worried here. We'll take a Hunter Potion so we can see her coming. We'll take a Thorns Potion so that when we make a mistake, we at least do a little bit of damage back. Maybe the little bees die by touching us. Endurance Potion. Uh, Rage Potion. And... I don't think a Grav Potion was... I, I never considered this before. But I don't think a Grav Potion would help against the Queen Bee, would it? She likes to go above you and shoot down. So if I was on the ceiling, would she be trying to go here? Is that honey? I think that's honey. Um... I doubt it. I, we do have a few spare grav potions. It might be worth trying. Uh, especially just to get up from the ground sometimes. Um, we could also take... We're not using archery right now, obviously. Don't think Featherfall helps with this fight. In fact, it, it's probably a hindrance. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, water walking potion. Because I want the ground, uh, the honey to act as a surface I can stand on. How much ammo do we have? 3k, that seems fine. Uh, I've still got jester arrows, even though I'm not using arrows right now. I'm going to use the star cannon when I need to pierce things badly. Um... Regen, Iron Skin, Light Movement, Calming Potion, Heart Reach. Don't really get too much, but that's good, I guess. And I'll take a Red Potion after I take all the buffs, perhaps? I don't know, the Red Potions don't really seem to be necessarily that helpful. 
in a boss fight, they give you random buffs. And they last for 30 minutes. Maybe I should just take them when I'm spelunking and stuff. And see what I get. Um... I'd love to be able to afford re-rolling the mini shark. It's actually only 11 gold. Can I sell something? Um... Probably. And then what do we have over here? Shark bait, detonator. We get those at random anyway. Why is there a gills potion in here? That should be in the piggy bank. Don't need random mana potions in there. Um, how many owls is this? 22. Let's sell the owls. That's actually two gold as well. What are we up to? Seven gold? I think I have a whole lot of spare sailfish boots lying around. That means boots as well. What are we up to now? 13 gold. Alright, please give me a good mini shark. Lazy! That is... That is not the mini shark we're looking for. Just nerfing the best thing about the mini shark. Uh, it's not even that much cheaper to re-roll this time. Um... What else have I got lying around I could sell? I don't think we need more than a couple of panic necklaces or tsunamis in a bottle. Why do I even have this? Oh hey, don't I have the stuff that I need to get that weird sword? It's an upgrade of the gold sword. Costs stink bugs, gold sword, and we need a honey block. So I could go do that now, actually. What was it? Five stink bugs? Yeah, I think it's a bit out of date at this point, but I'm curious to see what this is like. Best used for pranking townsfolk. I see. Alright, can I sell this and that's only 23 silver? These are worth more than I thought though. Alright, once again re-roll the mini shark. Hurtful plus 17% damage? That's pretty good. I will take it. Okay, that's actually going to help get through defense. Uh, more than you might think. Where did I just put those stink bugs? In here. Alright, let's go find out what this weapon is like and maybe... Maybe fight the queen bee. Oh, do we have a new fishing quest yet? Nope. That's tomorrow. Alright. Down we go. Actually, I think I will just take one of these red potions, see what we get. Wrath, danger sense, and magic power, sure. We'll take plus 10% damage for the boss fight. these things. They're very good at faking how far they can reach. I got killed by one when I just went into the map because I thought thought I was safe.
And they have way too many hit points. Or at least they do on this seed. Alright, let's go. Over to the honey. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, so we need honey to craft this weird sword, right? Let me up. There it is, fly meal. I want to be careful I don't break that by accident when I'm not ready. It seems to swing like just a normal sword. It's pretty fast. Oh god, really? That's it? It makes the stinky noise? Bruh. It doesn't seem to actually do anything either. Unless... I thought I saw little things coming out of them. I think that was just the projectiles of the hornets. Okay, well, that novelty was not worth the effort. Let's jump down here and clear the room and prepare. Uh, I don't really want to waste a calming potion since I know enemies can't get in here unless there's one reaching through for me at this very moment. Um, calming potion in here. And I think we're as ready as we're going to get. Oh boy. She looks bigger than usual. Oh god. Oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. I... Oh no. Oh no. She's coming. Oh god. I didn't even mean to teleport home. Um... Um... I think... I think it's all over now. Did I consume a grab potion? Maybe we have a chance. If I can kite her well enough. Oh god. Oh, she's fast. Oh god. I need a bigger map. Uh, I need a homing missile, but I don't have one. Ole? If I had a grav potion that lasted a long time, maybe this could eventually work. I seriously doubt it. I guess I could spam these. Oh god, she's fa Oh god, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can parry her with the shield of Cthulhu. Uh, not too often though. That gives me a little time to recover. Uh, we're dying of poison, though. How many hit points does she have left? We're actually a third into the fight. But it's only going to get worse. Um, I could get another... As long as I have a couple of grav potions left to fight the Skeletron, I don't mind if I use a few more. Um, don't really want to waste more... I don't know, if we have a chance, I kind of want to try it. Featherfall is definitely not going to be helpful here. Uh, thorns, go for it. And that's probably pretty much it. Okay, I'm not going to waste Star Cannon, I'm going to miss almost every shot. Here she comes. If I do a zigzag, does that help me get away from her or hinder? Um, 
I'm having trouble getting her into a movement pattern where I can actually hit her as well. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I can't let her get... I can't let her get close to me like that. Otherwise she'll just sort of lock on no matter how fast I move. Uh, I think I want to make sure I have the conch handy. That's an owl. Devil's Dandruff. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much time do I have left on the grav? Basically three minutes. We've barely scratched her in the time since... Uh, since she came over to the ocean on the left. Okay. I'm gonna try moving like this. Need the map. Oh, she's locked on. Okay, she does stop eventually. It's kind of like Duke Fishron's final phase. I have to... I have to time my dashes so I don't get trapped as well. But the falling is kind of working. Okay. This might actually be doable. This, this might be doable. With the Grav Potion and Shield of Cthulhu. I'm not going to run out of ammo. Oh, I think we're good. It's hard to get into a groove where I can hit her, though. Oh, wrong way. Looks like we really don't have to worry about our little bees. Oh, come on! I hit the wrong button to try and teleport to the ocean for just like a quarter of a second. <sighs> well, what we learned is this horribly small uh, honey... This horribly small nest here is definitely not big enough to fight the queen bee on this seed because she is much bigger and much more aggressive. Are you well? Not too bad, thanks. Um, does this actually hit? Oh god, it does. Bruh. That's not, that's not pranking townsfolk, that's assault. Okay, I don't want to waste Grav on that fight again. I think it was theoretically doable, but... Very hard to get damage on her, and it doesn't take much of a mistake to die. And I'm also going to burn through all of my Grav potions. I can make a few more, I think. I've got 21 Fire Blossom. Oops. Um, okay. That's not what I meant to do. Grav Potion. Uh, it's Fire Blossom, Deathweed, Blinkroot, and Feather. I've only got one Feather. Now is probably as good a time as any to get some more Feather. Um, but I should probably just be looking for a for another hive to try fighting her. We've got like, what, four grav potions left? Yeah, more than enough to fight Skeletron. Um, alright, put these away for now. And I'm hoping that the 
bridge of honey that I see over here. I think it's honey. Uh, I hope this implies there's a hive over here somewhere. In any case, I need to pick up some honey. Uh, and I, and I want to find a fishing spot for honey as well. I had a bucket somewhere. Here we go. Bucket of lava. Get back in here. Uh, let's get our minion out. Get some light. Get some long-lasting buffs. 30 minutes Belunker. Life Force and Rage. Damn. Um... And I was going to take the Golden Delight as well. Since the boss fights are so nasty, uh, I don't want to waste that 48 minutes on just dying. Okay. I haven't found any hives down below, as much as I've looked for them. So I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if I was looking too deep. Oh, that's blink root, and it's blooming. Give me those seeds. Also, a couple of statues over here. Take them. Thirty minutes of Spelunker is kind of nice. If I don't think I'll fight any bosses while we've got that up. I'd rather find some stuff. Give me oxygen. My inventory is already looking too full. Ow. Stupid dart trap. Give me this one off stack of one potion. Alright. So into here we go. Oh, here we go. There's the honey that I'm looking for. Uh, maybe I should keep it on my person so I can use it to heal. Actually, I don't think favorite works with this. But yeah, I can just quickly give myself this honey regen buff. don't really want to want this. That is indeed a bridge of honey. Does it lead to another hive? It does not. It's just random honey. Well, that's not what I wanted. I do need some honey blocks um, for summoning the queen bee, if nothing else. Ow. And inventory. Uh, danger sense, why not? Alright, uh, let me just stack this stuff away. Statues in here. Got another shark bait. And I'll just check, but I believe honey block is needed to summon the queen bee. Five stingers. Bottled honey. This is the thing that I think you only get from... Fighting Queen B. I could be wrong, but is it actually possible to end up unable to summon the Queen Bee? 
if you cleared every hive in the world without killing her once. Um, regardless, I can't use this yet to summon the queen bee. Put this in here for now. Traveling merchant has arrived. Fantastic. It's a cardinal, not an explosive bunny. Stopwatch DPS meter. I don't think I have the DPS meter. Uh, but we need five gold. DPS meter. We've got the life form analyzer. Um, yeah, we don't have goblin tech, right? I thought we had the stopwatch somewhere. Did I put it in another chest? Oh, probably over here where the table is. Yeah, here we go, stopwatch. So no DPS meter. But I think we've now got that set. Oh, that's a bunny. That's a doom bunny. Ignellus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I need like 50 silver right now. Um, I'm not selling the magic mirror. What do I sell for 50 silver anyway? I could just sell some ores that I don't need. How about some copper? Fantastic. Give me that DPS meter. Kimono is a vanity item. That'd kind of go well with this thing. I need another 40 silver or so, though. Okay, and all of this combines into Goblin Tech. Fantastic. Um, I kind of want to keep that handy. Uh, and let's go place this blink root as well. I should have some stuff in here I could sell. 238 bombs? When am I going to use that? Okay. Blink root in here. Uh, why am I still holding the life form analyzer? Does that go into something else? Radar plus telecounter. I think we can only get telecounter from the dungeon. So that's no big, no big deal. Okay, I guess we need to keep looking. For a better hive to fight the queen bee in. Or maybe Skeletron would be easier. Actually. Skeletron might actually be a lot easier. Why am I even fighting the queen bee? I only want her for the bee gun, really. To kill the, um, the wall of flesh. That's another water chest. I got a flipper. Fantastic. That's only like the second flipper that we found. Spelunker is actually more useful than I thought for looking for the queen bee. Ooh, a slime statue. No, that's a bomb statue. That's even better. Uh, that's an infinite money farm right there. If only I had some... the mechanic. Why can't... oh, I can't go through this because this is a wall. And 
Fantastic. Should probably be leaving a trail of lights. That might be a good idea. What status... What are statues used for? Oh god, oh god, I wasn't looking. Oh god, wow, that was almost a fast death. Uh, some statues, if you send a signal to them, they'll spawn something. Uh, and some of those are useful, like spawning enemies. Especially enemies that have some rare drops. Um, you can also... You can also spawn hearts, uh, mana stars... Oh my goodness. Um, some of them spawn critters, although you can't actually like pick up the critters. They're kind of just cosmetic, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, not all statues do anything like that. Uh, quite a few of them are pretty valuable. Bomb statues will literally just, un unless they changed it, uh, they'll literally just spit out bombs that you can use or sell. And you can just put it on a timer to spit out one every couple of seconds or something. Chuck some grenades down here. See if we can hit. I don't think so. Hopefully that dealt some damage. Okay, give me that night owl. That's my minion. Why am I swinging a sword at it? Don't like spiky slimes. Stop it. Nope. Not really hit him. This angle. There we go. Ow, 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 stop it, stop it. Jeez, I thought that was a preemptive heal. Oh my god, what is hitting me? Frickin' bees. Give me those hearts. Fantastic. And we found a rail, which means it's likely going to be much easier to find some other stuff. Uh, I think we just got deeper into the underground jungle, though. Like, reached a certain threshold. Also, where's my light? That's a golden chest. That is somewhere we've been before, actually. Or is it? I think it is. Ah! What the? What? What even? What? What? That was a... That was a... That was a dead man's chest? I've never... I've never seen them so out in the open like that. What? What? What the... What? What the... Jeez. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I made the, uh, the diving suit on this run. Don't remember where I put it, though. Uh, and now we can make the frog gear. When I found out about those wide-open dead man chests, indeed can no longer do hardcore. Are they part of this seed, or is that just, like, the new version of the game? Um, 
Yeah, so we can swim, climb on walls, jump, all resistance, whatever. It's flipper plus plus. Is the frog gear. Uh, where am I going to put the bomb statue? Here we go. And sell this crap. The love update added them? That doesn't sound very loving. Is this the same guy from before? Yeah, it is. There is zero tell, right? I'd be I'd be upset if that was my hardcore run gone. All right. Let's get back down there. And I, I may as well just drink the red potions. Um It's not like I'm using them for boss fights. Right down this way. Oh, did I not open that before? Nothing too exciting. Actually, a hunter's potion is kind of nice. One of the few potions that, no matter how much of a farm we set up, we can't really make those easily at scale. That's not real lava. That is real lava. That's a worm statue. I don't think this one's actually useful, but I just want to collect them all. And we go. It's a big hunk of crimtain. Traveling merchant has departed. And why would there be moonglowed seeds in here? Maybe I did come here before. Seems likely, actually. Yeah, this one rings a bell. Ancient Cobalt Leggings. They're kind of just like a side grade to the magic armor set. Uh, the jungle armor. But they're really, 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 really hard to get the set for, so I don't see the point. My inventory's already full. Bruh. Alright, let's head over this way. See if we can't pick up our stuff. Oh, there's rail everywhere. Um, let me fix the minecart track first. Could you, could you be persuaded to not when I'm trying to, when I'm trying to do something? Shoo. Why do you have so many hit points? There we go. All right. What am I going to do with all this crap? What's in here? It was indeed a dead man's chest. Uh, I can't actually store this here because I've already got regen bands everywhere. Um, I guess I'll leave some cobwebs behind. And... We've got infinite boon glow. already set off so you can loot it does it have to does it have too many hp or do you have too few dps i mean i've got the best stuff i can have at this point uh that's a lot of fireflies i know i've got the water candle here but damn give, give me you fireflies Okay, 
Store this stuff. Actually, combine that one. I should be moving all my accessories over here anyway. That'll do for the moment. That's armor. Statues in here, I guess. I can't quick stack that, can I? No. And I guess shove the leggings in there. Look at all the fireflies. Jeez. It's a veritable swarm. I just picked up 27. I don't think we're running out of bait anytime soon. I should probably put rope somewhere just so it quick stacks. Get out of here, rope. Void bag through and through, best inventory management? Yeah, we need the dungeon for that. So many. Do fireflies sell? I, I doubt it. I'd be shocked if fireflies sell for anything significant. Look at these groups they're appearing in, though. I've never seen that before. It's got to be because of the water candle, right? Oh yeah, I wanted to check. Uh, let's see. Firefly... Got 221. Oh yeah, what's our quest? Caught in surface. We've got plenty of time. Uh, shop. Three silver each. We'd need 33 for one gold. Well, it's not nothing. Especially in numbers like this. Anyway. Our little moon glow lighting system is starting to look pretty good. I'm getting pretty tired of looking for a hive. And the queen bee seems just extra super duper nasty. So I think I will try killing Skeletron tomorrow night. If I start now, the morning is going to kill us. Fishing, fishing, and that's our bunny fish. Easy. Oh, and we got the sextant. Fantastic. I think I, I think that might be the last piece I need, or yeah, I think I've got the pocket guide and the weather radio. Here we go. And finally combine these into the fish finder and that's like the biggest bottleneck to getting the cell phone right I've already got the GPS fish finder goblin tech I just need the REK and for that all I'm missing is tally counter so once we get into the dungeon um, it'll probably just fall into our laps Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of handy. Alright, all, all the more reason to get into the dungeon. What time is it? Nearly 2am? Uh, probably as good a time as any to save up just a few more stars for the star cannon. Got 
22 minutes left of endurance. Which means we should have a few minutes left when I start the fight. Mana regen doesn't help against a boss. Is there a Sky Island here? No. Doesn't look like it. Early game gold farm, indeed. Alright, down we go. Could you not? Oh, that's a chest. Uh, it's a couple of chests. I was going to say I can't be bothered digging for it, but... For a couple of chests? Might be good. That's three chests, actually. Viva 30 minutes Spelunker potions. I don't think we're going to find anything that's still relevant, though. That, that makes four chests. Five chests? Just one after the other? Uh, let's get some light. Also, let's get some mining gear. There we go. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, drop the rope. Take the can of worms, take the herb bag. Why do I have four grenades? Don't really care about, um, uh, demonic blowpipe. Oh, my inventory is crying. What will I drop? Probably arrows. Ooh. Wait, this one's not one of the ones that's a material. Never mind. Um, that can go in there. Can o worms. A bag. Some chests. Don't drown. What time is it? It's morning. I missed the stars. Oh well. Okay, and give me this. Never mind, I thought there was a worm before. Did it crawl away? Or did it disappear? Here it is! Get in my inventory. There we go. Alright. May as well put the explosives away. Get some more blink root. Oh, it's only showing me the ones that have grown. They're not actually blinking. I don't think there's a reason to hoard a wooden boomerang, but whatever. And... Fishing quest, surface tundra. And we've got like 12 minutes, 13 minutes before it's time to do Skeletron. I think we've got enough day bloom already, but whatever. I rage to win. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, it's surface tundra, so I need to be over this way, actually. And there's our pink fish. Fantastic. Somehow forgot. No worries. Uh, and we didn't get anything new. I don't need anything new, though. I just realized I've actually got golden bug net, golden fishing rod, and uh, the fish finder. So I don't actually have to keep doing fishing quests, really. Apparently I spent every bit of my gold because it's not quick stacking. Can I get a uh, a safe at this point? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need to take... Oh, wow, that's a lot of link root in the old farm. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And we'll plant it down here. And our blink root farm is well and truly getting there now. Alright, I'm going to need to take a quick break. I'll be back in just a few minutes. It's a lot of day bloom, yes indeed. Uh, throw up some words on stream if you want to do that. Although it tends to be a bit quiet on the variety days. All right, we'll do some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Hopefully we won't have another little distraction like that today. Now then. It is 8.36am. We want to fight Skeletron tonight. Uh, I think I'll go put the relevant potions that we don't normally drink in a chest. So we got Grav, Rage, Endurance, Thorns. It's probably pretty much it, to be honest. Heart Rage I'm already carrying. That doesn't actually do anything against this boss, though, I think. It's just incredibly easy to, um, to farm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hunter Potion's probably a pretty good idea, actually. And what else? I'll just check what else I can make. So we've got... Uh, well, we won't be able to make greater healing potions just yet, that's for sure. Regen Iron Skin, of course. Not using magic. Light, thorns, vision, grav. Uh, Titan doesn't do anything against the boss. Uh, ammo Reservation Potion? That's the one I wanted to see if I could make. I think the best place to try and fish that up would pr probably be here. I don't know if it counts as deep enough, but we can find out. And if it doesn't, we'll just go a bit down and to the right where we heard the music change earlier. That shouldn't be an issue. Splat. Hey, some day bloom. I mean, blink root. And I just missed it. Bruh. Oh, I didn't miss this blink root. Fantastic. I should probably put this before the pickaxe, and then maybe shift will select it. I really need to set up a better highway to get over here. Wow, that was bouncy. Alright, so... We can try... There's a bunch of spores down there as well. Uh, we can try fishing for variegated lard fish here. I don't... Oh, yep. Easy. Nice, so if we get some more honey in here... Maybe if I cut away at some of the hive... I don't think we're going to get 300-ish tiles of honey, though, that way. But it'd be nice to have two different jungle fishing spots in the same place. We also got a jungle crate. Uh, but yeah, really, I just want a handful of lardfish so we can make some ammo reservation potions. Let me go ahead and grab these spores while we're at it. And I want to fish up a pearl for a luck potion as well. It's still pointing the pickaxe at these things, even though I put the axe of regrowth first. No matter, I guess. Replant our water leaf. Oh, did I get the infinite water thing? I did. Beautiful. Let's make sure this is 300 tiles. You're not using the liquid duping trick? Uh, nope, can't be bothered. There we go. 
And then fish. I'm just looking for a single pearl. I'm gonna need a few oysters on average to get that. Uh, let me just quickly quick stack this over here. And that's the jungle. And that way we can keep fishing here without any issues. Uh, apparently I already had some oysters somewhere. Grab one more. Quick stack. Nope, this is all of our oysters. Wow, white pearl on the first try. Let's go. White pearl, we need ladybug water leaf. I think they're all in here. Fantastic. Lesser luck potion. Over. And let's open the rest of these oysters. We get an another black pearl. Open the jungle crate. Inklet of the wind. Open the wooden crates. Wooden crate things, I guess. And that's pretty much it. Alright, I'll keep the black pearl handy though. Uh, and we'll put this movement stuff over here. Plant our blink root. And I guess put shuckled oyster away somewhere. It's just so it'll quick stack if nothing else. Alright, we need some ammo reservation potions for our star cannon. Ammo reservation potion. Can we do it pre hard mode? We just need moon glow. Yeah, it's green. Wait, no, that's a summoning potion. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, on the plus side, we can make some summoning potions, I guess. Um, do we have time? We've got like four minutes. I wish I'd used a potion of return. So basically, more or less, as soon as the luck potion runs out. didn't work this time. Uh, I think I want to go to the left, actually. And whatever that was, go away. Okay, I need to fish around here, more or less, but somewhere safe. Could we maybe break up all of this? Oh, shoot, shoot, bad thing. Uh, that was just luck, I avoided that bomb as well. Oh my god, stop dropping on my head. Up. Okay. Um, that should probably pretty easily be 300-ish tiles. Probably. Um, and I can't remember the name of the fish we're looking for, but I'll know it when I see it. Assuming we're deep enough to get it. Or do we actually get it from the surface jungle? I think it might actually be the surface jungle now that I think about it. But then we should already have it, if that's the case. Well, 
We're out of time. Let me check with the guide. Bottled water... Makes ammo reservation potion. It's called double cod. And I'm pretty sure we do get that on the jungle surface. But we just haven't found any yet. Is it hard mode only? I didn't think there were fish that were hard mode only. Except for, like, the ones that only appear from the hallow. Alright, I guess this is it. This'll this'll have to do. Um Endurance Rage Thorns, why not? Hunter I don't think the fight's going to be more than four minutes, probably, but we could make some more endurance potions. Uh, Abra M, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think this is it. I think this is about as ready as we get. Okay. So we're going to start with mini shark I think and we're gonna use the old grav potion I should lead him to where the terrain is a bit simpler oh he rebounds wait he rebounds bullets when he spins um Does that last after his hands are gone? Can he just not take damage in that state? Let's just go all out. Uh, cool, I couldn't even see him coming. Nice. Oh my god. I need to get more distance. So I can heal. And he's just arbitrarily coming past me. Okay, I'm back up to half health at least. Oh boy. I shouldn't go to space. I won't be able to dodge him as well. Um, two mi- he disappeared. <sighs> he disappeared. I have to keep him close-ish. Um, but two minutes had passed and I dealt like 5% damage to him. I don't know how I'm gonna... Oh, he's gone. I can't try again. Rip buff potions. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think I have time to pull him over there, really. Oh, I guess I should just try and keep him close and pull him over there. But... I can't damage him while his skull is spinning. And I can barely stay out of range of him. So that I have room to dash around his skull when it gets close. My weapons leave much to be desired. But what am I supposed to do? It's pre-dungeon. Queen bee... Uh, homing bees aren't that good against him, but then again, I could at least spam them while he's spinning, and then I don't think they'll rebound. I think they'll keep chasing him. But I think they'd be too slow against Skeletron. Hmm... 
I guess we look for another Queen Bee fight. Which means I have to keep exploring the damn jungle. I should at least make use of the... Um, buff time that we've got here. Still can't get through that. Let me get rid of this stupid thing. Um, I should also see if I can get a double cod. Don't know if I just have to be deeper in the jungle or what. I think it's probably hard mode only, the double cut is. Let me just make this fishing spot slightly better. sure we've got the volume of water and a cozy spot to hide. And then of course spiked jungle slimes will ruin our day. Okay, up we go. Should be more than enough. I'll give it like ten or twenty fish and see if we can't get. Uh double cod. Somehow I don't think so. Uh, Dear Curti, JSC, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Barricaded lardfish again. I think I forgot to summon my extra minion as well, not that it would have helped much. Since we're fishing up these things right now, we should probably take advantage. Alright, that'll do. Extra minion, and let's dig down this way. May as well take the ore. seems a little more cozy. Let's get our mining gear out. Hornet banner can go here, I guess. Spiked slime can go to hell. So can you. Fantastic. Um, I don't think I have much more room in my money trough. 
three stacks. Uh, why don't I quick stack this stuff that I'm not going to be using right now? That might help. Nature's Gift. Uh, I think that's the first one of those I've actually found on this run. Maybe I should put a door over here or something. Getting a little tired of enemies coming through this way. Why did you drop the wood? There we go. Alright. Let's not forget what we're here for. We want to cover a lot of ground and find another hive. I didn't have to stop every two seconds to not throw away something valuable. That would be good, though. Including a random grav potion? Um, obsidian? Sure. Don't drown? Sure. They even reach me down here, sure. Tungsten is... Gonna need to get in my inventory somehow. Why do I have one glowing mushroom? There we go. That looks weird. Uh, you know what? Do I have a potion of return? I do. That's enough of that. And we'll put the occasional potions in here. Uh, I think there's like two uses for nature's gift or so, and we found two of them. We need a regular mana potion. And then, I think it's three different things Mana Flower goes into, but I'm only interested in a couple of them. Uh, mana Cloak, we need Hard Mode, and Celestial Magnet. I can't remember, but I think we need Hard Mode for that as well. And I don't really care about Arcane Flower. Uh, we've got our 8% reduced mana cost now, at least, when we want it. I'm surprised I couldn't buy a safe yet. Um, this really is looking way too full. Oh yeah, I forgot to open these. Ooh, gold worm. Does that make... Golden Delight? It does. Nice. And my bad, I think I was muted. Okay. Should we try Skeletron again, or should I look for the Queen Bee? Well, we've got all day to decide. 
I really can't see myself killing Skeletron with this gear, though. If he's going to just bounce our shots back at us, it would be better to spam homing missiles at him. That will chase him slowly. Another nature's gift? We're just drowning in them now. I hear you shooting at me. Don't appreciate it. And what do we have here? Nothing too exciting. Uh, that is a sharpener though. Considering we're using all melee damage at the moment, um, most of the time, that's actually pretty useful. I, I just got back here, my inventory's already full. I think I want to go down here, get on this rail. I suppose I could leave... All of this crap behind. I think we've got enough water chests. I think you can just make an angel statue. There we go. That's a slight improvement. Okay, got about 600 million stingers at this point. I think I'll just keep this going above water, actually. Switch to mining. Much better. Uh, I said I wanted to get down here, but it looks like I can just go straight to the side. Something just revealed over there as well. Fantastic. Uh, let's make a couple of doors so we don't have bats coming up behind us again. Have a nice little cozy spot here. And that goes for you too, slime. That's probably my least favorite enemy in the entire game, those spike slimes. They hit the optimal combination of annoying, dangerous, and common. We can't see Medusas before hard mode, can we? I don't think. Should probably get some more marble while I'm here. Make some nice looking chests out of this stuff. And that is a whole lot of awful coming our way. Could you stop? Especially with the curved shots. Gen, light, speed, heart reach, food. Take this area a bit more seriously. Oh, the acceleration is so low. Okay, okay, okay. That's a... I don't trust... I definitely don't trust that chest now. Not after the, um... The discovery of where trapped chests can be now. Covered quite a bit of ground, but no hive. 
What's down here? Nothing. Another gold chest. I think we've already got everything... Everything that counts long-term, specifically from the jungle. That is a huge hornet. Ow. What the... God. I looked carefully at the chest to check it wasn't trapped. And I finally opened it and a little bomb exploded on me because I... Because I wasn't looking at that. Um, is it part of the seed that there's almost no hives, or are we just incredibly unlucky? Like, what is going on here? Look at this. We've found one queen bee hive so far. Out of all of this. chill here for a second. Um, I guess there's more jungle this way. I'm just going to use up my potion of returns. I mean, what else are they for than dealing with this inventory issue? Alright. Let's make one more nature's gift or whatever it upgrades into, mana flower, and ancient cobalt goes over here. We've almost got the set. Uh, cloud and a bottle should go over here, I guess. And whatever I crammed into the piggy, that wouldn't normally go there. Pretty much just the chests, actually. Um, alright. What do we get from our red potion? Life force. And pretty much nothing else? Why did we only get two buffs? Maybe because we already had most of the buffs that the red potion can give us. Could you stop juggling me? Thank you. How should I make this a little bit safer? Guess we'll keep digging. Oh my god, that's aggressive. How rude. I need a hunter potion, but... It's so... It's such a pain to get shark fins. I guess I could do a blood moon. And farm some up. Go for double minions. Jungle's kind of about the most dangerous place on the map. Oh god! About the most dangerous place on the map. Maybe I should try a bow to kill Skeletron? It'll still reflect the arrows, I think, though.
I really want the bee gun. And I really want these uh, man-eaters to not have seven times the health that they ought to. Especially with the combination of they just don't want to show themselves to get hit. Armored compass. I can't remember if that's our first compass. No, we've got a GPS. That's not our first compass. Yep, another nature's gift. Probably just sell or trash those. I think we've already got a dripler statue. a lot of silt. Okay. Okay. Just ignore my sword hit. There's that chest we saw earlier. There's like three more over this way. Oh, and a crimson altar. It's not exactly easy to get to. Hmm, I wonder if this is a trap. It'd be nice if I could reach. And then we've got double boulder and at least one dart. Uh, oh yeah, and you can't just see the wires by holding up like a dart trap on this mode, I don't think. Well, I don't know if it's the new version, or if it's the seed, or whatever. Oh, we can no longer search for traps that way. Um, but I think we got them all? Probably? Fantastic. Um, you can go in here. And you can go in here, and I don't really care about uh, the dynamite that much. What am I selling or dropping? Random moon glow, jungle grass seeds. Okay. Magic mirror missile sure would be nice in this situation. I wish you could get fancier bullets in pre-hard mode. The most interesting bullets you can get are media shot. And they just bounce. And they're obviously a bit of a pain to farm. Found a new rail. That's a little bit promising. Lava-covered chest. Whoops. Double heart. And that's the end. Why is it so hard to find the queen bee? Seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Um, 
squeeze up through this way. Make it hard for monsters to follow us. Is that a worm? No, don't think so. Let's throw these chandeliers up for the light and to show we've been here. Ooh, water walking, that's not irrelevant. Uh, I guess I'll put it down here. And thorns goes here. I don't really... value this that much, but I'll take it, I guess. Oh, a hornet statue? Or a... Oh, granite golem. That means there's a granite biome nearby. Howdy onto wall of flesh. Darius, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, We're not up to wall of flesh just yet. Because this is for the worthy. The bosses are very nasty, very obnoxious. Uh, Skeletron actually rebounds my shots whenever he's doing the spinny thing when he should be vulnerable. Um, but also, on my first attempt to kill him, he just disappeared as soon as he got, like, I don't know, a screen and a half away. It's very dark in here. Not a fan. Cool shape for this area, though. Avoid the monsters pretty easily. Doesn't he also spawn lots of mages? Mages? I hope not. I didn't get to see that far. I'm looking for Queen B because I didn't have a good weapon to damage him. I got, like, 5% of his health down over, like, 2 minutes, which isn't going to cut it. Since he one hit kills us if the morning comes. Um, but like, this right here is the only hive we've found, and it was way too small to fight the queen bee in. Uh, and I accidentally teleported home. Uh, it was actually looking kind of viable, albeit really difficult to kill her out in the open while she's enraged. Um, but the main thing is this natural arena here was much, 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 much too small. She's bigger, faster, and more aggressive in For the Worthy. And I just did not have the room to dodge her. So I'm looking... I can't even summon her again if I want to. Unless I kill her first. So I'm looking for another hive, but... We've covered this whole area, and we've explored here before. I, I haven't found a single other hive. I'm hoping the bee gun will be... That much better... At fighting Skeletron. As long as we make him move in the right way. Why am I confused? Oh, there's a chest I haven't seen yet. And I guess the fairy is gonna point that out as well. My inventory is crying. you got uh feral claws sure i wonder if feral claws would make mining faster actually take the art tree i'll drink the invis 
Uh, I kind of want to take the tungsten. And we'll leave the rest for now. Where am I going? If I have another potion of return left, I think this is our last one. Gonna have to start leaving things behind a lot more. So it stacks in the same place. Angry. One of these. Silt goes in the extractinator. That's a lot, actually. I wish it would do this a little bit quicker. Okay. Iron goes in here. Dripler statue. We actually didn't have a Dripler statue. Before this. Explosives. May as well throw them in here. I need some more shine pots. And that'll probably do for now. Why don't I put the fishing stuff away, actually? Put in Sky Lakes. I don't really have a need to do any more fishing quests, though. Give me that rich mahogany, why not? Uh, I guess I want to go to the left here. That's a chest. It's probably not trapped because we don't have boulders above it, but as we've learned, that's no guarantee. Would you die? More of the same, more or less. Actually, I should probably just explore down this way. Chest go boom, not this time. Give me that. Potion. Oh, come on. Did I not? Oh, go! They really do reach as soon as I'm looking somewhere else. So they take, like, three hits from the biggest impact weapon that I have access to right now. Short range only. They take 6 million hits from a Trimarang or Mini Shark, and they kill me in 2 hits when they just squeeze through the dark when I don't think they can reach or I don't know they're there. Fun enemy. Uh, do I not have gold chests stacked somewhere? I guess not. There's way fewer chests in this seed. Maybe I should look for Queen Bee down here. I can't believe we've only found one of these so far. That's... that's insane. Maybe I'll try this area. More consistency from Terraria would be good.
Not spending anywhere from five seconds to five hours looking for an item. Or a queen bee in this case. It still got to me through that. Okay. Uh, I think I want to go swimming here. Get some light health region. Sp oh my god, not again. No, stop it. How did... How did Piranha spawn over here when I just came down this way? Like, this is as far as I went. Oh my goodness. They can't spawn on screen, can they? Can they? Which potions did I take? Swiftness, Heart Reach, Regen, Iron Skin, Night Owl... Take one of these, give us some food. That actually hits through the wall, that's nice. Uh, Rod Diego? Pro Diego? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... I was gonna switch gear to swim better, but... There's just too many distractions. Oh god, I was not expecting that pseudo explosion. We know there's a big opening down here. It's definitely not a queen beehive though. It's not that big of an opening. Okay, this is a bigger opening. Uh, this might even be... Where we fight Plantera. It's so hard to hit. I don't think we're going to find a much better natural arena than this. Maybe we could fight the Queen Bee here if we're extremely lucky. If we find a hive not too far away. Random poison dart explosion? Gotta make sure we stay where it counts as underground jungle, though. Fighting Plantera. Same goes for the Queen. Maybe I should go for the, uh... Laser Pistol. I do have Media Armor. I just don't know how good the laser pistol is. It's probably better than the mini shark, actually, overall. What do we have in here? Don't really care about the arrows or the mace. The mace is like one gold. Keep searching up this way, but my inventory's crying. Uh, get rid of the rope, moon glow, jungle grass, wooden arrows, two mahogany. That should be fine. Let's see what's up this way. Mm. 
not a whole lot. Don't touch that. There we go. Copper ore, just what I wanted in my inventory. Not really. Uh, we're finding a lot of houses and not a whole lot of queen bee nests. Philip B? Uh, I think I said hello to you earlier, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, right? That is a one. That's another granite. Is that the same granite area? It is not even close. Yes, I do see the chest highlighted by lava. Thank you very much, fairy. So this one doesn't get hurt through the wall? I wonder why that other enemy did. Maybe there was a little gap that I wasn't seeing. have a loom? I think I do. Yeah, I have silks. Uh, silk somewhere, so I know I have a loom. What's this? An anvil statue? Is that honey? It's going to be another tease, isn't it? It is honey, and it is another tease. Bruh. There's random bits of honey all over the place here. This is the same hive we already knew about. Oh, that stings. So we've got 24 more minutes of this inferno. I do want to search this area. Let's dig. And let's take a mining potion. Much better. I guess. Except now I've got silt that I want to pick up. Um, drop this. It's fine. Did I not put that in here? Suspicious looking eye. Let's uh, feather fall, and let's not leave the money trough behind in favor of two wood. That would be bad. I 
do want to keep exploring this way. I definitely appreciate the 22 minutes of hunter potion in the jungle that we've got left. That's what I'm talking about with the uh, red potions. Very nice indeed. What just hit me? Did something snipe me? I think it did. That's a trap. I really wish the graphical effect on the Inferno Potion was less obtrusive, though. Oh, what? No, 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 please. Oh, God. I thought I was going to die in two frames while I was on the map from a man-eater again. Okay. So, if the enemies would stop pouring in like it's going out of fashion, I need to find the opportunity to disarm this trap. Did I pick that up? Uh, I think so, yes. And there's two more dart traps over here. Alright, I think we're good now. Yikes! Uh, okay. I meant to do that, actually. Now that's how you kill a Spikes Jungle Slime. Get out of here. What do we got? Another eye... Uh, what else? Random teleportation? Everyone's favorite? And... Even more spiked shoes. You know what? Random teleportation. Go. And we're still in the un uh, the underground jungle. Bruh. Uh, and I just realized I left that other random teleport back there. Seems like about... 90% of the map is underground jungle. A very unsuspicious chest. Fantastic. Yet another regen band. Even I don't need that many. Actually, yes. Do kill the spiked slime that way. we've been looking for just one more queen beehive. This is... This is getting out of hand. Okay, that actually hit us for some reason. Time to go. Didn't pick up the banner for the man-eaters, but what's the point? They just appear everywhere. Granite block, I think we can make some kind of nice tiles with that. 
smooth granite block. Yes, okay, I guess. And silk goes over here. Uh, bird statue, I guess. Can go in here somewhere. I should move these swords. Don't know where I want to put them though. Caught in Sky Lakes. I do need some feathers. What time is it? 2.20 a.m. Better hurry. I want those uh, fallen stars as well. I really do like the moon glow lighting. It's very calming. Very chill. Casual golden crate. There's our fish. Shark teeth trophy. We already have that. Golden crate can go in here until we make a luck potion. Sell this crap. Inferno Potion does a little more damage than I thought, but it's still basically nothing. Uh, get the bombs out of here. I'll wait till there's more blink root blooming. And I'm running out of ideas as to where to look for a hive. Can they appear this far down? I don't know. Actually, let's get double minions. Because why not? And we'll head to the right, right about here. I do appreciate that deleting bats through the walls. Maybe I should look for a boomstick. Well, I guess I am looking for a boomstick. We're in the underground jungle already. Let's grab another mining potion. What's this? It's the same stuff every time, more or less. I guess I could get a bunch of money by killing the Eye of Cthulhu back to back if I need it. But I've kind of re-rolled everything I really want to for now. a lot of stuff. 
Maybe I should be taking a calming potion whenever I come to the jungle. It's not that difficult to farm up. Laser would hit a lot more often with these long range engagements in the open areas in the underground jungle. Maybe I'll give it a try. It also wouldn't be costing me ammo that I have to think about. In fact, with the armor set, the space gun costs zero mana. Ooh, fancy chest. Um, let's just fix the chandeliers. Thought that was a marble chandelier for a second there. Um, what am I dropping? Probably rich mahogany. How many band of regens do we need? Take the tungsten, get rid of the beans. I want this chest. It's very, it's very nice. I can make a few more with the marble that I took home earlier. Oh, another house. What do we have here? One more chest. Um, I kind of do want that chest, though. Give it to me. And then... This goes in here. Homie's boots I'm not about to leave behind. They are just sniping from afar. Okay, we can get back here easily. I'm going to go change my gear. And we're going to go with Meteor. And we'll use the space gun. Did I make a space gun yet? Uh, probably not. It's pretty cheap anyway. It's literally just 20 meteorite bars. Celestial. That is not a bad first roll. 24 damage per shot. Okay, that's actually way stronger than I thought it was. Especially with the 21% increased magic damage. I think we'll put the mini shark away for the moment. Um, I could hold on to this and try re-rolling the mythical on a spare. Superior? Getting some pretty good default rolls here. Oh, it's really cheap to re-roll. 18% damage, negative 17% mana cost. That is an improvement. And that's our mythical. Beautiful. RNG so spiky. Um, alright, so... Dead accurate, uh, 25 magic damage per shot, and it pierces. The travel time's about the same. I think that's gonna be a bit better against the Hornets. Not to mention the bosses. Um, I guess javelins can go somewhere. Iron ore over here. I haven't really organized this properly yet. 
All right, let's take calming and invis. So we get the minimal, pretty much the minimal number of enemy spawns. And we'll try the space gun in the old underground jungle. I can't actually see where I am on the map because of invisibility. Okay. In we go. Oh yeah, that is, that is a bit better. I should have tried that sooner. I kind of got in the habit of skipping the space gun. But I'm not used to having to look for something particularly powerful at this stage of the game, because the bosses aren't normally this strong. That's much better. Of course, we still have to dodge their almost invisible projectiles. What is that? Oh, jellyfish. Sure. Not much knockback on this, though. That's what the uh, boomerang is for, I guess. It actually deals some damage to the man-eaters. Maybe we should just try this against Skeletron. If I don't find a queen beehive in the next while... Oh! Now we find it? <laughs> Okay, don't tell me all the queen beehives on this seed are going to be horrifically small. It doesn't look like it. And this means we've got piercing built in. So when the queen bee starts spamming bees, we can just hit them both. Okay, I do not want to carelessly explore with Inferno Potion up and thereby activate the Queen Bee. Um, this is a very unusual hive shape. I'm beginning to think this seed forces the hives to be much more cramped, which means I'd probably be better off fighting the Queen Bee up here. Despite the extra spawns. Um, but yeah, I think I do... I think I do probably want to go after Skeletron first, actually. With the space gun. See how that goes. Sell this crap. And let's grab some boss fight only potions. Grav potion. Uh, don't think Featherfall really helps. Maybe it does. Probably not. Definitely Hunter. Uh, Golden Delight. Hopefully we won't be wasting it. Endurance and Wrath. Thorns. Knockback won't do anything. Oh, uh, magic power is relevant now. Should probably make a few more of those. 20% more damage on top of what we've already got, on, on top of the base damage, rather. 
That is nothing to scuff at. Um, I was going to say I should make some tungsten bullets. I probably should anyway. Even if we're not using them right now. Kaboom. What? What just caused an explosive bunny to die. Was it a slime? Heart lamps are not allowed? Um, I could do heart lamps, but like, trying to stay in one area, um, not necessarily all that good, but we can. I wouldn't really call that making an arena. I mean, we've built a home here anyway. Let's put the heart lamp over here. Ooh, fire blossom is blooming. Good timing. Let's get this farm started properly. And we have one minute and change. Before the earliest we can fight Skeletron. Oh yeah, I was going to make some magic power potions. The regen potions aren't actually good in a boss fight. They're only... Oh yeah, we're not even using mana, so let's put that away. But yeah, um, because you use mana continuously, it never gets a chance to regen. Because you have to stop. Unlike health regen potions, where it's actually continuous, even if you keep getting hit. Uh, anyway, I think this will be the, about the best we can do. Are we exquisitely stuffed? Yes, we are. Oh, he walked out here. How nice of him. 20 seconds until we can start. I want to keep him here so I don't have to have a roof over my head when we start. Oh, it does appear. Okay. So I just have to not get as far away from him this time. That was a lot of damage, Jesus. He does rebound the lasers. He's so fast when he just wants to be. It's so arbitrary. He already disappeared. He was so close I was able to see his bones just start spinning the moment that he disappeared from his hands. And now all of those buff potions are gone to waste, including the including the Golden Delight, and I have to wait a whole other day to be allowed to try to fight him. That is incredibly irritating. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's the rest of your stream today? Irritating? Uh, Skeletron Prime disappearing if he's like a screen and a half away after I consumed all my buff potions. And he does like 200 damage if I touch his face and I have to be that far away to have an opportunity to dodge him properly. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Especially when I have to wait a whole extra day uh, to try to fight him again. Pretty good. Killed myself right at the end. Oh. Did... Did you have a date with Trainkun? Is that what happened? 
or was it was it biters atmosphere or train those would be by far the three most common causes right oops pulled the trigger on my bloat burst <laughs> that'll do it yep i wish it had been train hashtag gun safety oh we got spiffo this is your favorite pet right I don't know when I picked that up just now. Spiffo, indeed. Uh, Boofy, Crazy Berto, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doombreed, Ragnarok as well. Love Spiffo. Let's go. What am I going to do for a whole day? How am I going to fight Skeletron if, like... Fighting him with the Grav Potion is basically just arbitrarily banned, because if he gets like 10 centimeters away from me, he disappears. And then all my buff potions go to waste. Maybe I should try going after the Queen Bee while we've still got the Golden Delight at least. So we're going to go for this hive and probably fight her here, I think. Uh, I think we still have some water walking potions, so uh, this isn't going to be a problem. It should be an okay arena, not the worst. Um, we really need some calming potions. The ads are going to be a problem to say the least. Let's put Spiffo in here. What's this pet? The penguin. The penguin's cute too. Penguin's actually very cute. Put the penguin away for now. Okay, let's try and get to our sort of arena. I'm thinking in that open area, having an extra minion would actually be a pretty big help as well. Can we do the fishing for the lard fish here? I think so. Especially if we join these. Should be 300 tiles of water, right? Why is there jungle grass seeds in here? Okay. This should be a nice cozy fishing spot. I thought that was an enemy. Spiffo, you're freaking me out. Alright, we got... Fishing gear, we got bait, we got variegated lard fish. Fantastic. And we got wooden crate. Let's go make ourselves a We already did have some lard fish. Quite a few actually. Let's make some summoning potions. And the crate can wait until we're going to gulp down a luck potion. Seems good. Uh, and sell this to get it out of my inventory. Alright. We've pretty much used up all our buffs except for two minutes on these two. Let's pop the farming potion now so that we're not getting surrounded by enemies when we're trying to set up our arena. Take some light as well. Oh, I forgot about this. 
I already destroyed the touch plate there. Ouch. Where am I going? Straight through here, actually. Let's make a tunnel. I don't really want to pick up that moon glow. Oh yeah, Boza. That might actually be a good idea. Against the Queen Bee. Poison immunity. What should I swap out for it, though? We got double jump, another double jump. Regen, dash, boots, necklace. I think we'll swap out the armored cloud in a bottle for the bozar in the jungle. Okay, let's get a look at this place. It is rather spacious, and the only trouble with that is we get sniped at by hornets and such. Ow, ow, ow! Stop it! Okay, might as well dig this away. Grab another random water walking potion. Good timing. Um, I don't see it as a problem if we place a heart lantern, but I didn't bring one. So there's that. This is with a calming potion, by the way. Hornet banner, that's gonna help. Give me some honey regen. Uh, let's put a hornet banner up in the middle of this place. If I can place it, for some reason I can't? What? Where's the banner? Oh, great. Oh, it did get placed, thank goodness. Um... So it's not going to get much better than that. We've still got nine minutes of calming potion. Uh, where's the thingy? Here it is. You could never see it, but there's the lava right there. All right. So let's regen without wrecking our healing potion cooldown. Let's buff ourselves and prepare. I think we've got all our potions ready, actually. Yeah, I think this is as good as it gets. Okay. Do I have something I can throw? Oh, go away! Give me just two minutes to get ready, Jesus. Do I need to make a door here? Is that how it is? Okay. Are the banners really helpful? I never use them. They give you a defense and damage bonus against a specific enemy. So hornets in this area are just way, way weaker. As long as I have this banner... Uh, banner buff. So in this place in particular, yes. Yes it is. Alright. Um, I do have a bomb. That's about the best I could do. I do not want my minion shooting at that. I want to lure it over here so I don't accidentally summon the Queen Bee. Okay. 
Uh, the best I can do is a bomb fish on this thing. It'll give me like two seconds to try and run up this way. Double minion. Buff. Where is it? Here. Okay. Um, goes this way. Oh god, oh no, that did not give me two seconds. Why? Why? Why are you like this? Okay. For some reason, the moment the bomb contacted the lava, it killed it. And now we're just getting bullied by a million bees that won't let us move. Where is she? Okay, this seems possible as opposed to last time. I think I forgot to take my water walking potion. That's not helping. No, I think I picked up a water walking potion, so we're probably good, right? Yes. Remind yourself that overconfidence it wasn't overconfidence! I was trying to be the cautious hero. Where is she? This is working. That's not working. I should have dashed into her. Okay. She's getting stupidly aggressive. Just arbitrarily keeping up with me. When is she going to dash? Need to kill those bees. You gonna dash? No. Now you're gonna dash. Cool. This is working pretty well. Ow. Never mind. I think I'll take off the map. So I can actually see her when she goes up top right, sometimes. Where'd she go? Oh god. That's not quite what I had in mind. Rev potion's gone, really bad timing. I think this is it. Gotta improve my aim though. Oh god. Nope. 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 How dare you. Halt. Halt and see. Will you die already? Just, just die, please. Just, just die, please. Holy crap. I wish I had a homing missile. She's so, like, loves to go off screen. Finally. Please tell me we got the B gun. I will cry if we did not get the B-Gun. I will cry manly tears. Okay, let's go somewhere a little bit quieter. And have a look at what we've got. Woo, indeed. Morpheus out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. 
I do not feel like doing that again. We'll put the buff potions away. And... I mean, it wasn't that hard as far as these brutal boss fights go, but... Even so. The fact that she just kept going so far away that I couldn't even see where to aim was... Oh, there's another hive. When it rains, it pours. And it's right next to the same arena. That's very helpful, actually. Um, but yeah, let's find out. Did I... Did I not pick up the loot? Uh-oh. I got the Queen Bee Relic. Is it down here? Yeah, there we go. Treasure Bag Queen Bee. I think in Calamity it marked the treasure bag on the map. But... Well, maybe I just missed it. Okay, what do we got? Really? Really, really? Oh, we can increase the strength of friendly bees that we can't shoot. And I can't upgrade my... Shark tooth necklace either, or double it. Got the hive pack? You need that? Yeah, kind of. The hive pack's kind of optional, to be honest. Like, the bees are still pretty good without it. But... I really wanted to see that bee gun. I'll try the beekeeper, though. Even though we've got Inferno... Thirty-four damage versus forty-four, but it's way faster. Doesn't have as much range though. But maybe we could make it legendary. It's only four gold to reforge. I would take large, but legendary would be strictly better. Superior. We're running out of gold. We are running out of gold. Murderous? That's not too bad, I guess. I'll give this one a chance. Find something to test it on. What should I test it on? Underground jungle stuff? We got some bee nades. Maybe those would be good against Skeletron, actually. I don't think so. Let me just find a chest for this stuff. Uh, and we've got the bottled honey, so now we can actually summon the queen bee a few times. To farm her. It's actually one summon per bottled honey. The rest is semi renewable. Honey block, hive, and stinger. I believe we've got those two here. And stinger is. We've got over a hundred. Uh, and thankfully, we don't need a. Crimson altar to make this. Okay. Well, we beat the next boss and we proved we can do it probably pretty consistently. Um, question is whether we really want the uh, the bee gun to try and kill Skeletron. Except I don't think damage is the problem, since I tried the space gun. The problem is I can't dodge him and prevent him from disappearing. Uh, 
What do I do? We're still exquisitely stuffed and night time is coming. I think I'll try fighting him. Um, it won't be as costly as usual. And I'm just gonna... This is basically just gonna be, like, looking for information. Um... I could try it without Grav Potion. Um, Bozar is not going to help us here. Another double jump might. Exquisitely stuffed, indeed. Um, what else? Thorns, I guess. Summoning Potion, for sure. I want double minions. Even if it's barely going to make a difference. Okay. Uh, and the abomination can go in here, because that's where I stashed some other summoning things. The Witch Doctor has arrived. Uh, I don't think the Witch Doctor has anything to offer that would help us kill another... Where is he? Uh, help us kill another boss yet? But maybe. Anyway, I just want to do a sort of something of a practice run here. Let's see if we can gain some more insight into what might work. I hope the answer isn't just do the same thing but better, though. Okay, buff, extra minion, and curse. Oh god, I'm already down a potion. Featherfall is making it easier to not get too far from him, actually. Don't rebound. Yeah, Featherfall Grav might be the- ow. Might be the way to go here, perhaps? Because he doesn't actually chase that quickly for the most part. Depending on how you move. He, he he probably rubber bands. And that's why minions don't rebound your shots into my face. Yeah, he probably rubber bands and that's why he was like chasing, chasing me so violently before. So this might actually be the way to go. Look at how leisurely he's chasing me here. This might be it. As long as I can actually avoid the skull when it moves like that. Okay, really? What? Why couldn't I outrun that? I guess I had to dash. Jeez. Nope, 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 nope. Bad. Bad skull. He's got so much health left, though. How, how, how do I avoid him when he wants to do that? He just arbitrarily keeps up. Okay, we good? For now? Am I going to live long enough to get another health potion up? Or maybe just not need it? We still got both hands. The stylist was slain. Rip stylist. It's not when he's spinning that it's a problem. It's when he just tilts his head sometimes. Okay, one hand down. We've got most of the night still. I think we can do this this time. As long as he doesn't just arbitrarily catch up. 
like that, kind of. Oh, now he's doing the skulls. I forgot about the skulls. I'm not a fan of the skulls. And our grab is gone at the worst possible moment. Cool. Alright. Now we need to be able to dodge these. Good luck with that. Good dodge, even if I say so. Still need to get his hand, which he's hiding from me. Very rude. Most inconsiderate. rather difficult to hit it consistently. That's going to hit me no matter what I do, I think. Alright, his hand is down, finally. I think we've got this, maybe. Depends how ridiculous the last stage gets. Okay, okay, where am I supposed to go? I guess I need to... no. I'm not finding a pattern that gets me through all these little skulls with any consistency. And I don't know how long I can keep this up. It's going to come down to luck dodging. And I'm running out of it. 19 seconds till I can heal. I have to survive his skulls for like 10 seconds. Nope, more than that. Maybe if I create more distance? Hopefully he won't disappear? Still can't heal. I need more DPS. Okay, so when he does that we want to create as much distance as possible. I will be very upset if he just disappears this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The faster I go away from him when he's using the skulls, the more space I end up having to dodge. Okay. I just hope he doesn't disappear. What time is it? One seventeen. I think we've got time. Yeah, I think this is it. Wish I had time to see what my graph potion is down to. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to dash that way. He's so low. He's so low. Don't lose focus now. Let's go. Every shot hit until I said that. Fan-bloody-tastic. Cool. So when he does the skulls we need to get as far away as possible in order to have room to dodge them. Two for two indeed. What does he give us? Uh, bone Glove. Some people really like the Bone Glove. I'm really not that excited about it. But more importantly, we, we can now get into the dungeon. And get the mechanic. And we'll be able to get the snow pylon, make more houses for people, uh, get... What is it called? Do I have any danger sense? No! Ah, oh, that's actually fine. We can teleport back there. Do I have danger sense? I do. Let's quick stack. Quick stack this as well. Uh, maybe not this one. I want the danger sense. And we'll teleport back to the dun- The villagers died! Oh no. Then you can do the owl thing? Yes. Yes, once we get the mechanic, we can do the owl thing.
It'll be a... Uh... I can't think of an owl pun for a celebration. I have failed. Okay, danger sense, just so we can see those stupid crumbling blocks. An owlfully good time. Okay, I'm leaving now? Oh no. Uh, We've got Shine and Night Owl, but it's still this dark. I hate these blocks. I wish I could just delete them all. It's a rather awkward entrance to the dungeon as well. Can't be bothered clearing it just yet though. I want to make the most of my buff potions that we've still got. Oh, and we can finally, finally open the uh, uh, the Sky Island stuff. I mean, if I was really patient, I could have got the Sky Island stuff just by fishing. But I was not that patient. I think I could have anyway. I got um I got one Sky Island thing from fishing. What was it? I can't even remember. Oh I got a sky oh yeah yeah, star it was uh I got twice in a row I got Star Fury, which is like the only the only item I don't care about long term that comes from Sky Islands. So that's fun. Uh, let's leave some light here. That would probably be good. Why is it jungle torches? Give me some biome torches. Game of lighting. Why is it so dark? There we go. Oh, bones. We need bones. Should I start opening chests? Probably. Cobalt shield. Uh, one of the few items that matters indefinitely. Fantastic. The Dave Man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. See yourself out. Oh no. You teleported where I was landing. That's cheating. What the hell hit me? Angry Bones? Was I that low on health or did it hit me for like 300? I think I was pretty low on health, otherwise I wouldn't have cared about that caster teleporting right where I was already landing. Uh, I do have an obsidian skull somewhere. Not in here, apparently. The painter has arrived. Let's just make another skull. Got plenty of obsidian. Combine with shield. And we have immunity to knockback and fire blocks. Uh, and this we don't get for ages, so that's as good as that gets for now. Probably want to reforge this to warding. If I'm going to wear a defensive item like that, I'd like it to be warding. I think we need 30 bones, unfortunately, for the void bag. We do. And we didn't come back with a key. That sucks. Is the shark tooth necklace still relevant? Probably not that relevant while we're using the space gun or beekeeper. It does shoot bees. So five armor pen would be a big deal there. Anything that does a small amount of damage per hit benefits more from the shark tooth necklace. 
like the mini shark. I didn't find the bloody freaking. I didn't even do anything yet. That death was so quick. Didn't get the mechanic. At least I got the shield. Uh, I probably shouldn't be wearing media armor going in there though. It's like the number one class not to be in the dungeon would be glass cannon. We want lots of defense or we want summoner. I would argue summoner is better. Can we... I don't think we're going to have enough stuff yet uh, to make the bee set. You have to kill the queen bee at least a couple of times. It's only plus two minions. Uh, we need eight plus twelve is twenty. We've got twenty. We need another ten to make the set. We could also just make a hornet staff so we have a minion that can shoot things that are in water. I kind of like the imp staff better though. High five is a decently strong yo-yo that summons killer bees after striking your foe. I think that's by far the best thing we've got for hitting things around corners right now. But we're just about to find Magic Missile, so... We'll probably have to kill the Queen Bee more than two more times. Uh, more than one more time to get the bee gun. Let's treat ourselves to a high five. And put this under F. There we go. It's got decent range too for this early in the game. What kind of high five did we get? Just a regular one? How much does it cost to reforge? It's very cheap. Shoddy. Unpleasant. More knockback, sure, why not? Um, okay. Do I want to take the obsidian shield? More defense. Instead of what? One more double jump? I don't think we need the double double jump, the triple jump. That badly. Bones can go in the potion chest. Potion ingredients. Because it goes into knockback, I think it is. Knockback potions wouldn't be the worst idea in that I threw it like a projectile. Uh, knockback potions wouldn't be the worst idea. It's only one bone per titan. Uh, in the jungle in particular. It's also very easy to get lots of bones. So let's do that. Make sure we have a few. Don't really need a Skeletron Relic. Water Candle can go in here. Uh, I guess I'll actually just turn all of these hearts into heart lanterns. In case I want to put some down somewhere. I need some chains. Fantastic. And then... Spikes are useless. Uh, we can just sell this stuff. And I'll put the old chest down somewhere. Alright. 
I don't think Wand of Frosting is doing us any favours anymore. Okay. Let's take all the buffs, and then whatever Red Potion has to offer us. Obsidian Skin Endurance, that's not that great in this situation. Also take Danger Sense. That's a lot of water candles in one place. I want to get rid of these spikes. So I don't have to be annoyed by them next time. These ones by far the most obnoxious. Oh, and I need some minions. That would probably help. Uh, awkward. Did I not bring a hunter potion? And minions. Double imp. Fantastic. How fast can people speedrun this? Uh, I don't know, actually. I've seen one speedrunner, and the time is like... Like, several hours still, at least. Uh, or like a day or something. On the personal bests. I, I don't remember the actual number, but the scale of it is still quite a few hours. Double mage? What does it mean? Oh, and here's our mechanic. Nice. Could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. Imps, what do I pay you for? Um, we can already do teleporters in pre-hard mode. I love this. I've only got six gold right now, so I think we'll grab the mechanical lens. And I won't worry about anything else yet. Oh wait, give me a wire cutter. I can't make the grand design right here and now, but I can at least wreck traps with this. Alright, so that's our mechanic. She just dove to her death, didn't she? Nope, she's up there. Now if I could just get a magic missile, I would be much pleased. Also, a shadow... shadow key would be nice. Uh, you know what else I should be taking down here? Is a calming potion. Since we're at the stage where the extremely numerous dungeon enemies are actually threatening. Fantastic. Oh, that's just a light. Whatever. Golden key. I think it's golden keys that we need up on the Sky Islands. So I'd like to try to hold on to a few of those, if I can. I forgot that I wasn't wearing the, uh, the media armor. The space gun costs zero mana as a set bonus with that, but, like, it, it costs practically zero mana as it is. Gimme, gimme. Fantastic. Still a lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if I could get the whole... 
arenalus thing really down pat with the default seed. I could definitely save a bit of time with that, but I don't think I could compete with your typical speedrunner on most parts of it. What do we have? Blue Moon, that's the last thing I want to see. Not interested. Although it's probably a bit stronger. 76 damage, yeah. It's got to be stronger than the... Uh, than the Beekeeper for the moment. Flails are just mostly not my style after the early game. They're very clunky. I forgot I had the boomerang. Hey, there's our tally counter. I believe we can actually make the cell phone now. It's going to save us an inventory slot or two. The flail bloody missed him at point blank as well. I mean, it can do a lot more damage in one go, but still... Give me that key. Uh, now I need an inventory space for the key. What are we dropping? Rope. Fantastic. Oh yeah, this is where I was trying to go before. Stop. We got a desert chest. Oh, that dart trap's on the ground. Another tally counter. Um, Aqua Scepter isn't too bad, actually. You can make the cell phone this early. I need to farm, I guess. Yeah, it, it it's a lot to get the cell phone. You have to you have to do an awful lot of fishing. But yes, you can get uh, Terra Spark boots and the cell phone before hard mode. But it's just a lot to get either of those. Um, this wire is kind of annoying me. There we go. What am I dropping? Spikes, of course. And I do want to take the Aqua Scepter home. I don't know why I picked up a switch. And the Archery Potion can go in here. And that just leaves some gold bars. So what am I still looking for in the dungeon? I think just magic missile is all I really care about. I could also go for the handgun. We can upgrade it to the Phoenix, bar uh, Phoenix Blaster. Uh, arguably the best gun in pre-hard mode. Oh, actually, I think they changed it so that you can't get... It's not semi-automatic anymore, for better and for worse. So you can no longer get crazy DPS out of it. But you don't have to kill your mouse. But it's not so much kill your mouse. There's like... If you click too fast, it won't fire that fast. Uh... So there's a sweet spot to get the maximum DPS out of it, or that's how it used to be. I think they changed it so it's not semi-automatic anymore. There's obviously a door there. With something blocking him from opening it. Get out of here, spikes. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we found a spider place. We already have the stylus though, so that's not anything too exciting. Oh yeah, 
Uh, Muramasa is a decent sword that we could get here. There's magic missile. I never even did use the high five. It's a little bit of a shame. It's actually not that bad. Hmm. I haven't been using the, uh, the crimson rod, so maybe I'll put the high five there. Oh, that feels better though. Magic missile for the win. Yes, please. Uh, all right. What am I taking here? What am I dropping? Uh... I don't know. Three bombs? Sure. And it's a lantern knight. Alright, so we won't be using the beekeeper. Um, I guess I'll put it in here. Tally counter means we can make... <laughs> we got three tally counters. Tally counter means we can make the cell phone. Uh, what do we combine it with? Life form analyzer and metal detector, I think. Nope. Okay, so magic mirror plus PDA. PDA is GPS, Fish Finder, Goblin Tech, and REK. REK is these three. I just needed the radar handy. I don't remember what metal detector gets combined with. Oh yeah, it makes the Goblin Tech. Cool, cool, cool. And there it is. REK, PDA, cell phone. And the cell phone is no longer the pinnacle. What does the cell phone turn into? The shell phone. <laughs> so I just need the uh, demon conch. And I can combine the magic conch with this and change the destination with the one item. Okay, uh, Aquaceptor is actually really good for some piercing damage at this stage. I never did use the Star Cannon. I'll probably just save it for the Wall of Flesh, I guess. Or I could use it on Queen Bee, but we've already proved we can kill Queen Bee without it. Without too much difficulty, actually. Um, may as well just stash these. How much gold do I have? Eleven? I think we can probably make... Uh, don't tell me I don't have a house for the mechanic. I think I was working on one. Yeah, it's way down here. We've got the basics of a... of a house. in the underground snow biome. Let me just put this stuff away. Um, probably just hold on to the wire cutter for now. Magic missile won't be relevant for long enough to, uh, to justify spending money on upgrading it, I think. And Crimson Rod, whatever. Just put that away somewhere. Okay. Bone Welder goes in here. Uh, I still need to make room for... The Witch Doctor at the jungle pylon. 
Let me have a look at what he's selling. I think he has to be in the jungle to sell you certain things, though. A blowgun, yeah. He's definitely not selling anything that would have helped yet. Okay. Uh, so I want to go to where that house is that I was making. Gonna go left here for a bit. They're so cool, but only have one look. I wish they had more types of gates. Yeah, I wish the gates could be placed horizontally as well. Um, I can make a nice... A nicer hatch here now. Uh, since we've got the mechanic. I'll just go stealing some wire. Uh, but we actually need to... I, I really wish this wasn't the case, but we actually need to kill... Uh, the twins in order to get souls of light so that we can have a sensor that detects the player for that to automatically open and shut. Still, uh, it's nicer than the 2 by one uh, trapdoor. Or I could even make it it wouldn't make a difference, I guess. I th I can't remember. You might be able to detect enemies. I don't think so. If you could, you could make it shut whenever it detects enemies. Oh, whoops. There we go. Let's keep going. Get some light. Let's take a red potion. Why not? 30 minutes regen, mining, and heart reach. That's not that great. I'll take the regen, though. Uh, I should have brought Boreal wood. Oh, hello. I should have brought Boreal wood for the look of it. I could always go get it later. Oh, I need a key for this. I was so excited when I first saw that, I thought, oh, they've given us, like, a a renewable source of the stuff that you get from dungeon chests, question mark? Nope. It's just a slime pet. Ow. That's not an evil mimic? No, it's a, it's a pet slime trapped in a chest. I think it only shows up after you've got uh, dungeon keys that you could use. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go up through here. Cute indeed. Alright, so we got Tinkerer. This is missing a wall. Oh, I think I deliberately left it missing a wall so that NPCs wouldn't randomly move in here. Tinkerer and Mechanic. What time is it? 8.07am, so they're not going to teleport here at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, I should probably set this up so that bats can't fly in at random. That might be a little bit better. And a flinks. Get out of here. Okay. I can't get the snow pylon until they move in, and they're not going to move in until they teleport uh, when it's night time. And currently it's 9 a.m. And the stylist arrived. I thought I was afraid she teleported in here for a sec, but no, we're good. Uh, let me just block this off until I come back. I'm not going to wait all day. Uh, 
I guess I'll put the wire cutter in here for now. Hopefully I won't forget about it. Let's put in some blink root seeds. Harvest the blink root. What little of it is blooming at any given time. And we're good. 15 blink root, not bad. Uh, we also have some slush to drop off. And I guess I want to take another pass at the Queen Bee. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I do have anti-knockback. That's something. The bees can't trap me in the air somewhere. Although, what am I going to swap it out for? I don't know. Currently, our bottleneck for uh, lava waders is Obsidian Rose Molten Charm. I think we need the Shadow Key to get Molten Charm. So I really just need to get back into the dungeon. But I don't wanna... But what would I do if the mechanic was back and I'd set this up already, just now? Probably go back into the dungeon. Except I could, if I kill the queen bee, I can get some summoner gear. Minion count is very good against the dungeon. Alright, I guess I'll use the same set that I used to kill her before. Get Demon Conch. Um, that can wait until I have the Shadow Key so that I can open up the uh, chests and stuff from fishing, I think. I need to make more NPC homes. I kind of want to make a nice undersea dome for the angler and the golfer get them out of the way of the other npcs probably best to do it on the side that doesn't have crimson right next to it let's do a little building why not maybe some stone slabs Maybe some grey brick. We're going to need some pumps. The mechanical have teleported back. While I'm in the middle of building this. What are the... Maybe marble? We have marble here. Smooth marble... Why do I have two ways to make stone slab? Because I've got a bunch of stone slab walls. Uh, there we go. Smooth marble block. I'll leave one there so we can quick stack. Uh, and probably a bunch of glass would be needed. And we can come back for whatever else. Where do we want to put it? About way over right near the end. Why are these blacked out? Because it's just reporting zero, that's all. Uh, I think I have a gills potion or seven. Fantastic. I don't have a flipper potion, but I do have 
stuff that includes a flipper. It's not as good, but we can at least swim whenever we want. My minion is going to accomplish... Oh, I was going to say my minion would accomplish nothing down here, but evidently I was wrong. Good job, minion. Okay, let's start right about here. And I want... I should have brought a gate so I know how many tiles tall it is. That's a shark. It's stuck. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking Craybrick here. And maybe Stone Slab underneath it? Oh, it would line up like that. It's all wrong. How about... Two layers of this down here. That might look a bit more believable. And then grey brick on top of that. It's a very smart shark. It's using cover mechanics. Oh, we've got it though. Fantastic. Um, let's dig down here. Get a bunch of sand in the process. The way water behaves at scale in this game can be a bit weird. I've got no more light source. Let's switch this with the uh, mining helmet. Why can't I block swap? Oh, I was... Wait, what? It was already done, that's... Oh, I have to start from the top. Okay. Because it's sand. I feel like I need a tutorial on building in Terraria and what things will look like. Uh, there are people who make videos like that, I guess. It's a whole process, though, of, like... Experimenting and going to the wiki looking for blocks that look a certain way and then trying them and then they don't actually look quite the way you had in mind. I might change out what these blocks are later on. Uh, I guess this is an okay enough looking foundation. Probably getting close to as big as I want to make it as well. This seems to be a great time and place to get sharks, though. I need those fins. Oh, I'm out of mana. Here we go. I wish there were more uh, armor sets that did this, whereby the... Uh, the media armor set makes the space gun cost zero mana. And that would mean that you can actually regen mana for other spells while you use this one. Therefore, mana regen potion would actually be relevant during a boss fight or something. Okay. Um... I wish I brought a gate so I know how many tiles high it is. I think it's like six. I could be wrong. In any case, uh, it's just about night time now. 7 p.m. Is it, I think it's 7.30 that they teleport. So we'll go and visit... Uh, that new house that we made. So that we can set up the pylon. Alternatively, I just copy you. That's the way. 
Yeah, just copy and then mess around with it. Like taking, like making a mod to learn programming. Uh-oh, I went too far, didn't I? It's probably still easier if I go back this way. Can we not with the shield graphic? I guess not. I'm not used to this thing clinging to the wall either. Hold on. I think I've gone... No, nope, this is right. Just that this was exploded at some point. Where am I? I think this is this is the right place. All right, down we go. Remember these old wood things from when we were really, really weak, and the ice biome was terrifying. We've got enough gold left over to make the ultimate, uh, the plan. First chance I get to buy the mechanics rod, but I've already got the golden fishing rod. Uh, let's see, wire cutter. This gives us the multicolor wrench. And then we need these three, and I don't know what else, to make the plan. I also need the mechanical ruler. Mechanical ru You're joking. I... I don't have 79 silver. Okay, what am I selling? How about cooked fish and... Uh, and shuckled oyster. Or was it shucked oyster? There we go. Beautiful. That's kind of off-putting, actually. Uh, there we go. The grand design. That's not the plan. I got the name wrong. Okay, so where is the setting for this thing? Mechanical ruler. There we go. And I want to be carrying a gate so I know how tall it is, uh, but it looks like it is six tiles high. I probably want a couple of those. Also, also, let's get some uh, actuators. I think we need like five. Yeah, five. Ooh, give me that. Gonna get rid of this. Add some kind of wood. Whoops. Uh, apparently I had some gates lying around. Here they are. What kind of different wood do I have? Is 
something that looks a little bit different. Do we really not have a zombie banner up here? We do not. Zombie banner. Okay. Do I have wood? I do. Let's go to the sawmill and see what we can do. Wooden beam isn't what I'm looking for. Maybe take some... Planked wall. That looks... Well, that, that counts as a wall, though. Sawmill plus stone plus wood. I could put that behind. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything horizontal looking to make the wood look right. So let's grab some planked wall. I'm going to put that right about here. Or maybe here. Hmm. That doesn't seem too bad. And we have some other type of wood, so it looks a bit different. Rich mahogany, perhaps, or maybe boreal. Oh, and I need some kind of switch or touch plate. Boreal, I would say, is winning so far. Rich Mahogany... Yeah, I think we'll go for Boreal. Then... Grab a hammer, get rid of that extra layer up top. And then we put in... Some... some stuff here. I want to make it so that most of the time uh, I don't see that stuff quite so aggressively, except for the red wires. There we go. Uh, and then we need to switch until we find something better. There we go. And I do wish you could have the actuator display set so that... Um, so that it shows red wires all the time and keeps everything else invisible. But this will have to do, I guess. But yeah, that is a bit of a nicer trapdoor. Wait, what kind of block was that? Uh, it's not a kind of block. So, it used to be the case the only way you could do this was a block called active stone block, I think it was. The kind of blocks that you find with the boulder traps. Um, I guess we're throwing a party? Where's the party go? Is this her? No, that's the stylist. Uh, but yeah, now what you get instead is, um, you can place actuators, which when you feed them a signal, they'll toggle the block as background wall or not. That's basically how that works. So these four tiles here are actually... I think it was Boreal Wood, um, but they've got yellow wire plus actuators in front of them, and the yellow wire is touching this switch. So you can push that to the background on and off. 
That's cool, indeed. It's also a way to get some, some like background walls that you otherwise can't have if you so desire. Anyway, where is the party girl located? This is her. Give to me some cake, thank you very much. Uh, and if I had any money, I would buy a bunch of pig granadas. But alas. Alright, slice of cake can go here, I guess. It's the only station buff that has a time limit anymore. It's only two minutes, that is not a lot of time. What was I going to do with this marble block? Oh, I remember. I was making a house over here. Or trying to. The swiggity swooty the cool slime has arrived. Okay then. That's actually the right height for a gate. Nice. Um, what else was I going to do? I kind of want to set up a teleporter from up here down into the dungeon so I don't have to go through all this every time. But I need lots and lots of wires to do that first. A good place to steal wires from is the dungeon, though. What was the bonk for? Devil's Dandruff? Um, I guess I'll put this away for the moment. And... Oh yeah, I was going to kill the Queen Bee. So we can get some summoner stuff, which would be ideal for the dungeon. Also because I really want that bee gun. Because I have returned from lurking, fair enough. Okay. Marble can go here. Uh, Emma can go back in the piggy bank. Food can go here. Bombs, I don't really care right now. And... We need some more shine. Oh, I really want to get a alchemy table. I guess we'll have to make at least a couple more potions before we do that. They're cheap anyway, now that we've got Blink Root going fast. Did not hear the bonk? Really? You should hear everything I hear. I don't actually have it filtered to the game or anything like that. Um, okay. The plan I'd normally put like here. Uh, six is fine. The grand design rather. Traveling merchant has arrived just when I was about to leave. Where is he? Not here. There he is. Shop. Um, we've already got the cell phone. So the only thing we're looking for from him is... Uh, I forget what it's called. The stuff that the cement mixer, etc. combines into. We've got the cement mixer and the bricklayer, so we need the extendo grip. Uh, and the paint sprayer. So we can make the architect gizmo pack. That would be nice to have if we're trying to make the um, underwater dome. Anyway, let's get back to the dungeon. There you go, indeed. Maybe because I'm listening on TV and not headphones. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, once more. Let's go with... Danger Sense. All our usual cheap... 
uh, potions and stuff. That should be fine. I should use the boomerangs down here more because knockback is very valuable uh, in the dungeon. Need more keys. Damage isn't that great though. Oh, this goes somewhere. Not really. Nice. That's the hello chest. Let's get rid of these spikes. Ow, why are they doing so much damage? because I'm wearing the meteor armor. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be going and killing the queen's uh the queen bee. Well, I've done all I can to make this walkable. Um I guess now that we're here, we might as well go a bit deeper. I just got to be careful cuz I'm glass cannon right now. That knockback though. Titan potion plus uh magic missile. It's a little bit a little bit good at keeping the enemies away. Give me that key. Is that another one? No. Nope. That's a lot of enemies. Um, down please. That's a lot, a lot of enemies. Angry Bones Banner, yes please. This is a very good spot for that. You know what would be good here? Piercing damage. Combined with the crazy knockback as well. I should remember Titan Potions when we're facing uh, the Pirates, for example, or the Martians. Any kind of alien, any kind of invasion event. Lots of small enemies. Right, is this a dead end? I believe it is. Up we go. There's another key actually. Give me that bone. said it before, but the DPS of the way they changed how magic missiles auto-fire is a huge improvement, but the mana efficiency of them is a lot less good. It will just waste, um, waste mana wantonly, and it's pretty much impossible to consistently guide it around a corner and not waste the next shot.
That's not actually a water candle. Could, could you be persuaded not to? Maybe? There we go. I really just want to find an alchemy table this trip. Or a shadow key. I'll, I'll take a shadow key. Yes! Fantastic. So you gotta call your shots. That's how that works. Oops. Inventory is obviously a bit full. I want that key, but I can't get over there, really. So now that we've got the shadow key, we can get all kinds of lovely things from downstairs. Including working towards our Terra Spark boots. Uh, there's also the Sky Islands to consider, but I need to save up golden keys for that. Not seeing any signs of an alchemy table, though. Let's get rid of the spikes. In more ways than one. Switch. Could these guys stop appearing for one second? There we go. I definitely want the shadow key in here. Um, what else? Don't need lesser healings. Magic missile spare can go in there. Don't need another bone welder. I think it sells for a bit though. Um, spikes get out of here. Alright, inventory is actually pretty good. some sort. It's a dart trap on the left. That's a light switch. That's another altar. That's another nuisance. Fantastic. Party time's over. Tragic. Uh, and there's our plus one summon. Nice. Actually, let's activate it first. That buff is indefinite now. So now we have... I've never seen a dart trap with a touch plate on top of it before. So now we have two imps. And there's our alchemy table. Beautiful. We just got all the stations that we're looking for from this place. Uh, I've got like five seconds left on my light. I think we'll go home after this. Uh, 
can't actually see where I'm going here. Alright. Uh, should I take a golden key up to a sky island? I don't see why not. Let's replace this mess with our alchemy table. And bewitching table, I guess, can go here. Uh, or maybe here. Alright, let's find out what we get from our first Sky Island chest. I would appreciate wings. And now that we've got double imp, we can we can hunt harpies very easily. There's an even easier way to hunt harpies though, once I get the right gear. Is this going to be far enough? Yeah, we're good. I messed up that jump, but that's okay. Gold detected nearby. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go. Horseshoe! We already have a horseshoe. We got it from one of those random sky crates. I am a little upset. Wait, it's just a gold chest. No, I'm pretty sure Horseshoe is uh, Sky Island stuff. Uh, I don't know if it will work on... on For the Worthy, but it's actually possible in pre-hard mode to get the tankiest gear that you can together, mixed with uh, the honey thing that the shark tooth necklace combines with. So you basically just maximize your defense, uh, have the honey regen buff whenever you take damage, and also bees come out whenever you take damage, and also you have maximum armor penetration. Uh, and you can literally just sit still and let harpies come to you and die. Um, AFK farming the harpies in pre-hard mode. With no minions or anything, just sitting still. Horseshoe, I'll just double check what it combines with. Yeah, there's nothing new there. Just put this away. And sell this stuff. What fishing quest do we have? Jungle surface. Uh, I probably want to hold on to the wires. We've got enough bombs that I don't care. For some reason I picked up 86 clouds. Prevents fall damage. Cloud wall, rain cloud, snow cloud. So it's purely aesthetic at this point. Alright, shall we go kill the queen bee again? Knockback's not going to help. Magic power is. Thorns might kill the little bees. Um, mana regen? Actually, yes, because, like I said before, I need some more magic power potions. Let's do that. Uh, I can switch to space gun while my mana regenerates for, like, magic missile, for example. Ruthless? I'll definitely take that. Um, 
Aqua Scepter can probably just stay as it is. Should probably put some defense on the Boza. If I can. Rash. Hasty. Well, that's not nothing, I guess. Let's get some more Aziz Light. Some more speed potions. Regen. Iron skin. Still got a lot of heart reach. Uh, thorns. I think I ran out of deathweed. I don't suppose deathweed is blooming. It is not. I should probably have a... Just the one Deathweed in a pot somewhere where I go frequently, so I can notice that it's blooming. And I think we're as ready as we need to be. I could of course use the Star Cannon if things get a bit hectic. I think we'll put that in there. Okay. Let's buff and get moving. So we're going to use the same arena as last time. Do I have any grav potions, actually? Those were surprisingly handy. Or that was surprisingly handy. I've only got one. Can I make more? I don't think so. We've got plenty of death weight. Oh, I ran out of uh, water bottles. That's the easiest thing to sort out. As far as missing potion ingredients go. And yes, we can make at least one more graph potion. Fantastic. Yeah, the graph potion was actually quite good. For making sure Queen Bee would miss with her horizontal charges. All I had to do was make sure that I was falling before she got started with them. light up this area and find ourselves up here and I should probably take a water walking if I'm not gonna drain this you know what water walking is a bit more valuable than that let me just dig this out another traveling merchant has arrived Let's get some regen here. Fantastic. Probably magic missile would be a lot faster at killing those. Oh yeah. A lot more mana costly, of course. I don't really want to pick up that Mana Star in case it's useful during the boss fight. Uh, you know what I should pick up though is a Calming Potion. And figure out where I want to start this from. Perfect. Don't- okay, okay. Don't shoot- don't start the boss fight yet, please. Okay. I'd like to be able to see where it is. I see. Okay. I think I'm ready, to be honest. 
as ready as I'm gonna be. Oh, I should have waited for the honey to fall through. Oh no. Okay, I gotta avoid the honey. Otherwise we're gonna get stuck and get owned. Unless I wanna dip into it for some regen, that is. I should spam magic missile until I run out of mana. And then switch to the space gun until I have mana. Especially when I don't know where she is. Oh, that's honey. That might slow me down a little bit. Oops, I did not mean to come this far. Okay, it's probably fine. I don't think we can... Yeah, we can't run away from the queen bee, so... Don't have to worry about that, at least. That is just owning the little bees. She hasn't charged once, has she? Or have I just not heard the sound? Should watch out for those honey blocks, they'll slow me down like crazy. This is a much easier fight, and not just because of the magic missiles, compared to last time. There it is, she's finally charging at me. And down she goes. Fantastic. Let's see what we get. And let's clear away these honey blocks before they murder our momentum at an inopportune moment. Good luck, thank you. Um, glow sticks, get out of my inventory. Do I want to fight another one? I don't have a summon. Let's just quick stack and... Get the bee gun. Get the bee gun and the honeycomb. Fantastic. I've got everything that I want from the queen bee now. Uh, unless, of course, I do want to make that summoning set, in which case I think we're going to be just a little bit short. Um, we can try, though. I'm not even going to count. We can make it. Nice. Very good. Alright, e wax can go in here. Um, ancient... Oh, sorry, honeycomb. Arcane honeycomb can combine with a spare shark tooth necklace. Seems a shame to do it with a plus four one. Do I have another one? No, I've only found two shark tooth necklaces. Okay. Shark tooth necklace. I'll just double check what else this can combine with, because it's pretty hard to get. Sweetheart necklace. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste a slot on that. Bee cloak is kind of meh, especially when star cloak combines with other things. Honey balloon would be good, but you can't combine it in the same ways as you can the other balloons. It's a it's a tragedy, really, because that really would be a great item. Uh, but yeah, pretty much just sting a necklace. So it's a direct upgrade from this one, combining these two things. But also the stinger necklace and the shark tooth necklace can be stacked together uh, for plus 10 armor pin, which is 
not nothing. Uh, this early in the game, it's actually pretty significant, especially if you're using bees or a mini shark or something. Uh, so... I definitely want to re-roll the bee gun. Probably cheaper to re-roll this to something good first. No, bee gun's only 2.6 gold to re-roll. Ruthless? Um, we can stick with Ruthless as long as I'm this poor. And let's go with... Violent doesn't really do anything. That's unfortunate. So I could double my minions if I put on the B gear. What have I got? 43 defense? 40 defense. That's not a very big sacrifice. I mean, I do sacrifice all my magic damage. Uh, summon damage increased by 10%, plus 4, plus 4, plus 5. So, plus 28% summon damage, but we've doubled our minions. Which is pretty good in the dungeon, to say the least. Um... Put this other stuff away. Sell that. Hold on to this. I might go double... Double necklace for the moment. Since we're going to go all in the, on the bees. Swap it out for the trimarang, I guess. The trimarang's still great for knockback, but its DPS is really falling a long way behind. Uh, and we want the high pack potentially as well. But where do I even fit that in? I I don't know if I can justify the hive pack, even with the bee gun, to be honest. Uh, then again, maybe I should have the hive pack instead of the shark tooth. If we're specifically using bees. That probably makes a lot of sense. Cool. Um... I'd say this is the ideal loadout. Maybe I could use different minion combinations, but other than that, pretty much the ideal loadout for the dungeon at this stage. Where are we stashing our minions? Should I get some vampire frogs? I need to do it during a blood moon. It can cause a blood moon. But really, I was just looking for the flink stuff. I could just make another flink stuff. I have no idea where I put the first one. I'd laugh if it was in my inventory this whole time. Oh yeah, we have a spare magic missile. That's a material. Um, let's make another mannequin and drop our media stuff onto it. Lucky hive pack. Plus 4% crit. That's not bad on things that do small amounts of damage. I think we get the hive pack every time, right? Could be wrong. Uh, and nature's gift. We'll just upgrade and stash that away. Spiked jungle slime banner. I do hate spiked jungle slimes.
but it's not like they're in a specific area. They're pretty much just everywhere. Uh, let's put this in here. And as long as we're going all in on summons, why don't we go even more all in on summons? Five summons. Fantastic. I think that's probably enough for a leisurely stroll through the dungeon. In we go. I feel like mixing up my vanity set as well. Don't know what I want to go for next though. Uh, I need keys. Where's the best place to farm keys, I wonder? Also, I forgot to even consider this, but I sh coulda, shoulda made some danger sense potions. I know you need cobwebs for it. I don't know what else. Oh. Ouchie. I don't think this is a very good spot. Oh yeah, I haven't made the void bag yet. Should do that. Oh, don't use the star cannon for that. Okay. That's a bit much. Have we explored much of the dungeon yet? I think I wanted to take a Titan Potion while I'm here as well. Uh, and I'd really like to stop using a Flail. Can we go find a Muramasa? Oh yeah, I forgot to use the bees. Let's go. Look at him go. I got silenced. I still have one attack left, the Shield of Cthulhu, when that happens. The damage isn't as good as I hoped, but we do just cover the area in bees. So there's that. Yeah, they're not as good as I hoped, to be honest. Um, I mean, they're still OP for a specific boss. What are you working on now? Uh, we are clearing the dungeon out with five minions in tow. And I'm looking for... Muramasa? Golden keys, uh, and not much else, I think. Angry Bones banner, sure thing. Could you drop this here, please? There we go. Sweet, thank you very much. You're welcome. There's the crimson chest. Uh-oh. I haven't found the water bolt spell yet, but we've kind of already surpassed it. 
which is usually the case. Sometimes you can get the Water Bolt spell before you have to kill Skeletron. Because it just happens to be right at the edge of the dungeon. It's an unusual bit of terrain. I'm silenced so I can't use a pickaxe. Bruh. Golden key. I forgot you can get them from pots. Let's open it. Another blue moon. Grrr. How dare you. Also... Does anyone remember what goes into the void bag? I'm pretty sure shadow scale and its equivalent. So it's not like I'm going to be able to make it on the spot here. Statue. Shadow Scale, Bone, Jungle Spore, yeah. Definitely a couple of things that I don't have on my person. Even though I'm picking another Aqua Scepter. I just need like one or two more things. Well, I need a lot of golden keys, arguably. And a Muramasa. And then I think I'm done with the dungeon. I could get the handgun as well, but it's optional. 10, 30, 15? Yeah, I think it takes 30 bones. 15 spores sound, sounds about right. Most things that need spores need too damn many spores. This is all fake. Or not. Oh, that's a lot of stuff following us. That dealt a hundred damage. I guess I am wearing summoner gear. Yeah, the, the Hive Pack doesn't really seem to do as much as you'd think it would for a whole accessory slot. Cream Soda. I think that's um, major improvements to stats, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's only medium. But 16 minutes. I don't think we've eaten lately, so let's take this. Is that drop chance? Uh, no, it's the different materials it costs, I think. Alright, we're getting some golden keys. Uh, how many do I have? Oh, they're lying on the ground. There's three, at least, in this area. I need to draw spikes. There we go. How many sky islands are we looking at? Uh, one, two, three... I already opened this one. Three. So, if, oh, and there's another key down here. Eoni Games, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I 
Maybe I shouldn't have gone for five imps. I feel like there's a... Okay, unless you're doing the Eternia Crystal event, in which case you want nothing but maximizing long-range piercing damage. Uh, I feel like there's an upper limit. Like, there's a, there's a plateau, there's a diminishing return to the value of spamming more imps. Also, why do I only have three right now? Um, but yeah, I think a spread of different minions. That's why I was looking for the, uh, the snowflakes stuff that I had in my in uh, in my chest somewhere at home. Um, why did I just drop my masterful imp stuff for some bloody spikes? Especially considering it was favorited. I need to empty this chest before I can get rid of that spike. There we go. Quick stack. Um, I kind of want to make sure I keep these keys. And what am I dropping? We can put a spare aqua staff in here. I think we're past the point where tungsten bullets are interesting. Definitely don't care about a spike though. Some throwing knives. Duck caster banner, angry bones banner. This is actually a pretty chill spot to farm the enemies. Alright. Let's go open those uh, sky crates. Probably just sell the blue moon. It doesn't stay relevant for too long. I've already got... It's only two gold. You'd think it'd be a lot more. Been watching your Factorio runs, but didn't know you also play Terraria. Fan of both. Nice, nice. Good taste. Uh... Let's stack this stuff away. I'll probably just make a place to quick stack throwing knives. And all of this stuff. Add that to the statue collection. Uh, spare alchemy table. Probably I'll never use, but it doesn't hurt. And I should probably have somewhere to keep... Uh, wire. I have a frozen chest somewhere. Here, here we go. Let's put those over here. And that can have wire. Speaking of Factorio, have you tried Captain of Industry yet? Uh, not really. No. Picked it up last night. Very interesting indeed. Uh, what was I going to do? The sky crates, the sky islands. Also, we'll upgrade this cobalt shield while we are at it. There's that random obsidian skull. Spare shield can go in here. And what's the quickest way... Well, I can go straight to this one. I've already got a rope sitting up in the sky. Oh, that's trickier than I thought it was. I can't... Oh, I can, but it counts as the second jump from a double jump. Oh, I think I had, um... I think I had more double jump when I did this before. There we go. Alright. Golden key. 
Another horse. Okay. All right. All right. I see how it is. Let's try this one. I don't think we can fly over there without a grav potion. I probably don't need to worry and be so stingy uh, with grav potions at this point, but yeah, no, we definitely can't get there. It's still hardwired into me that grav potions are precious from the early game. But it's actually just like fire blossom death weed and some common stuff, right? Oh, I can actually just jump there. Nice. Didn't even need another double jump. Okay. I... Are you... Are you joking? So, out of all of the Sky Island items that I've fished up or opened chests for, we've had three... Three horseshoes and two star fury. And nothing else. Zero wings, zero balloons. Those are the only ones I care about. Bruh. At this rate, I'm just never going to get wings in pre hard mode. <laughs> How high can I jump here? Not high enough, I don't think. Yeah, I might actually pop a grab for this one. Um, there's still zero, actually, as far as we know. This is the last... our last chance. Oh, I do have 92 rope right here. Let's just climb up. And get our fourth... Lucky horseshoe. Lucky horseshoe. Alright, show me the horseshoe. Okay. Alright then. Uh, I guess we're fishing for Sky Island stuff, even after opening possibly every Sky Island chest on the map. Okay then. That's, that's nice, that's fair. What is this? I can't actually... Is that like a broken pickaxe in the snow or something? Hard to say. I don't suppose we have a fishing quest in the sky. No. Nope. May as well do this one. It'll only take a second. Don't care. And we're done. Alright. So let's take our crate potions. Master bait. Fishing potion, sonar potion, and all of our fishing gear. I actually, this is very weird. Uh, it's unusual anyway. I have the cell phone, but I still don't have the angler earring or the tackle box. Um, the high test fishing line is the only actual fishing accessory that I've got. 
that actually helps directly with fishing. The rest is just informational. Um, but yeah, let's go upstairs. Up we go. Ninety-six fishing power. This is child's play. About a hundred and ten. Oh wait, 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 wait. Potions. One hundred and twenty-four. Damselfish. Bass. I need to sit closer to the water if I want to maximize fishing speed, but. I'm hoping if I stand up here, we can get harpies to farm at the same time. It doesn't look like it. I think I have to jump and fly up a bit to go just high enough to get harpies. Would it actually be quicker if I try to skip the stuff that's common. Maybe? Oops. I'll definitely take as many uh, calming potions as the game is offering, though. Sky crate. Uh, we'll wait till the fishing buffs run out, and then I'll open them. And let me just grab a drink. I've been a bit parched for a while now, actually. At least it didn't take long to get our first sky crate. There's two. We do have a lot of fishing power. can sell it. Actually, I could combine it with one of the spares that I'm using on uh, one of the other loadouts. Three sky crates already. We haven't gone through a single crate potion yet. That's a good start. Four sky crates? Okay, either our luck is turning around, or this is just going to add a lot of insult to injury. Wow, heavy rain really increases fishing power. Wasn't it like 120-something earlier on? I don't know the fishing system inside and out, but I know there's a few things like that. May as well take some bomb fish, why not? Alright, that's our first uh, crate potion down. Let's grab our one luck potion we have stashed away somewhere. Oh, actually we've got a... Black Pearl. 
So we can make at least one luck potion. Just one. And we'll gulp that down and open all of our crates. We got a celestial magnet and a shiny balloon, but no wings. I didn't realize the celestial magnet could be got before hard mode. We get we got yet another couple of star furies. A couple of hunter potions. Uh, I, I'm just going to open these quickly and not even look. Alright, so... Celestial Magnet. We want two of these. Uh, one to eventually combine with an Avenger Emblem. But right now we can already make the Magnet Flower, which is one of the best... Uh, mana reduction things. 8% reduced mana cost... Automatically consume mana potions and increased pickup range for mana stars. Very nice. Uh, we also got our first shiny red balloon at last. We're going to have a slightly better double jump than with the horseshoe balloon. We can put this over here. And we've already got one on the fishing loadout. Uh, so I guess that's Tsunami in a bottle. Actually, I'm curious. Uh, this has got plus two crit, so it's hard to say, but... Three gold 16, plus one gold 53. Uh, call this like one gold 20-ish, if it didn't have precise on it. If we combine these, what do we get? Gold-wise. So, probably like... 4 gold 50-ish? Do we do better or worse than that? With the Shark Run Balloon. It's got plus 3% damage though, so again, that makes it hard to say. 5 gold, 2 silver. I think we gain gold by combining them. Good to know. And let's make our uh, mana magnet thing. Fantastic. Hasty is definitely not what I'm looking for on that though. That's a harp. Uh, as for the shiny red balloon, why am I... Oh, I have no double jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, shiny red balloon. There's nothing that I've forgotten or... Anything new or anything like that. Let's grab ourselves a cloud in a bottle, and cloud in a balloon. Grab one of our 600 lucky horseshoes, and combine it with that as well. I think it no longer prevents you from upgrading. Yeah, if one of your balloons has a horseshoe, you could still make the bundle of balloons. Uh, but realistically, it's a whole lot of work and unlikely. You have to you have to be lucky enough to be able to get Sandstorm in a balloon on the map that uh, on the map seed that you get. Um, but yeah, combining it with a horseshoe doesn't actually dead end the upgrade these days. I'll absolutely take a warding horseshoe balloon and the only upgrade is if we can get all the balloons together which isn't going to happen so now we've got a bit of a higher first jump nice well we didn't get wings but we did get everything else including something that i didn't realize that i could or need to get from a sky crate let's get Preferably menacing on this. 
Because if I'm going mage, I'm going DPS. I'll hold on to a warding, though. Someone explain to me what I'm missing when trying Terraria. I play for two hours, dig a bit of a hole, build a small house, and then run out of objectives. Uh, you just need to find the right area that's not too dangerous and that'll give you new stuff. Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The wiki is your friend? Yeah, there is there is a lot, and I really mean a lot, uh, of knowledge for Terraria. Should I make F2 my mage lo uh, loadout? I'd need another pair of good boots for that. That's too much of a grind. I think I'll just keep it as F3 for fishing, F2 for digging faster. It's a shame you can't, like, set it so that this pair of Frost Spark boots is available for every loadout. So you don't need duplicates. Alright, so... I guess we'll do some more sky fishing. I don't know, do I really need wings before hard mode? We've beaten the biggest flying boss. Um, we can get in anywhere we need to with grav potions. We've got horseshoe and a balloon. The amount of jump height and stuff that we have. Well, for Arenalus, I think the wings against the uh, the Wall of Flesh is actually going to be significant, so yeah. An owl? Oh, it did land. Oh yeah, I forgot to show Damsel. I hope she's still here, or awake. I think she usually falls asleep on this one. Uh... Maybe she'll see it on the VOD. Let's talk to the mechanic. Grab ourselves a timer. Uh, grab our wire. And then... Where am I going to put this? How about just down here? Grand design. Let's do, I don't know, green. And I guess I could have taken a different path this way, actually. Uh, let's cut that. That should do it. Alright, damsel. This one's for you. The Flight of the Owls. It looks like it stops spawning them when they reach a certain number on the screen. Um, Are they not going to spawn any more? What? No, no. There's, there's a few owls. There we go. Uh, and like any statue that spawns critters, you can't actually capture them. They just disappear in a puff of denial. But yeah, that's how owls. Okay, uh, let's put our wire back in here. Sag. I mean, there are some statues that let you farm monsters. They used to drop money, I think, but I think they stopped that. So they only drop uh, items, which are a bit rare. I think they're far more rare to drop items. 
than regular spawns. Okay, this is not working. We, um, we planted all these trees a while ago. And I'm pretty sure they are refusing to grow because of the clay pots nearby. So we'll get rid of those ones. I'm hoping I can maybe put... Um... Yeah, there they go. Maybe I could put jungle grass seed squeezed in between these trees. Just so I could put Moon Glow. It'd be way too easy to accidentally pick up the Moon Glow, though. Then again, with the guide to whatever it is, maybe not. Yeah, this is fine. Look at that line of owls. Beautiful. Later on, I could set it up so that owls spawn whenever I run past here. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do some more sky fishing. I kind of want to kill some harpies, though. We need some feathers. And for that, I need some water candle. And I could maybe take a Hunter Potion as well, if I had one, that is. Um, but yeah, they should spawn at a decent rate once I go up here. Maybe I could go over there and stand on the top of those clouds? Nope, they are spawning. Fantastic. Let's put a water candle down. Or do I need to go higher after all? We have another sky island that's higher up. We have this one. So that we can farm harpies faster. This isn't that slow. Oh, I think we do need harpy feathers for grav potions. Uh, whoops. Hmm. Take a wild guess. I think they probably appear if we're 800 tiles in the sky. What is this? Hello, Sue. Carry on. I could just put a platform up there. Why not? I don't want to have to travel a long distance to our harpy farm. And I don't want to have to go to the trouble of setting up a teleporter. I wonder if I could also farm from uh, fish from here. I don't think so. It's too far. They are really taking their time though. Maybe I should try it in a blood moon? That'd probably be the way to go. I also need to do some Blood Moon fishing if I want vamp frogs. 
did I get everything from the dungeon? We didn't get Muramasa yet. I don't care too much about a sword, about a melee weapon though. Could probably skip it. We did get the shield and the stations. And we found a couple of the biome chests. We got magic missile. Uh, we got the shadow chest. We got all the keys to open the Sky Island stuff. So I guess... Uh, Yeah, I guess we really are getting ready for hard mode now. Alright, I really do want wings. Um, so let's do that. Coming potions are going to be very good in early hard mode as well. A luck potion should increase the chance of wings, right? Maybe I should bring my one garden gnome that I've got up here. So that we've got a luck buff while we're fishing. It's probably a good idea. I'll do it next time if we don't get what we need out of these sky crates. I really would like to combine... Sky fishing and hunting harpies, though. You know what? If the... If feathers are the bottleneck for the grab potions, which they are, why don't we just use the grab potions to farm feathers? And we can go to that Sky Lake that's high enough to spawn harpies while we're trying to fish. And we'll kill them with the, um, mostly with the minions. Oh, there's the flink stuff. It's a bit late now. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to do? No, I think that was it. Oh yeah, the garden gnome. Give me that garden gnome. Should have started over there, actually. Alright, grab potion. And off we go to another sky island. Or sky lake, actually. God, it feels good to not have to avoid touching space after the last one. Boing, 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 and furthermore, boing. Fantastic. Alright, let's go fishing gear, let's go garden gnome. Can I not put him down here? Really? There he goes. Uh, let's continue fishing while there's still 26 seconds left on our crate potion. Whoops. And once that expires, I'll set up a... Um, water candle, I think. Okay.
water candle. You would show up now that I'm trying to do things. Okay. Uh, and let's get another crate potion down the hatch. This is a more fun version of fishing. <laughs> Much more profitable too. Ouch, ouch, wow, that dealt more damage than I thought it would. I know I'm wearing just fishing gear, but still. I'm just not used to them being that powerful at this point. Maybe I should take a summoning potion so I can have one more minion. That might be a good idea, actually. Oh, that's not good. I don't actually have any mana potions. I haven't been carrying them this entire playthrough. Oh god, oh no. Summoning potion. Oh, I'm already carrying them, actually. You absolute dub. There we go. Now we attempt fishing. I think this may be a few too many harpies, actually. Oh god. Oh no. Uh, okay. I'm falling. Never mind. Let's get some regen. And I'll take a butt lantern there as well. And maybe while we're at it, a star in a bottle. We've got two minutes left on this crate potion. Let's get back over there. Also, my grav potion probably ran out. Unfortunate. Uh, where did that just go? Here we go. Probably should make a teleporter. Can I afford the wire? It's like three silver each. How much do I have? Uh, 45 gold. That's not too bad. How much wire are we talking here, though? Quite a bit, I think. Let's just buy all the wire we can. I don't actually think that's going to be enough. Uh, and I want to put this teleporter somewhere a little bit out of the way. I forgot to actually buy the teleporter. Minor detail. Anyway, let's make this one blue, and we'll start by going up here. Might just make it so I can see it all the time first. Should probably just run it along the ground first. Might be easier. And I'll go with Summoner Loadout while I try to get this done. Should just hold on to this. I wish it would tell us how much wire it's going to cost though. Got 645 left. I think it's gonna be close. Oh god, shoo, shoo. I 
is this where we go up? This is a place we could go up. I think I could actually reach that, potentially. Yep. Except then I can't see where this Y is supposed to be. Okay. Not quite what I had in mind. This is very difficult. Um, let's do it the sensible way. Just keep going up until I can actually see it. I wish I could get the ice rod before hard mode. That would be extremely useful to say the least. Oh, I already went way higher than I needed to. All right, take that away. Give me this pittance. And how much wire do I have left? 244. I don't think we're going to make it. But... We made some progress? What? Oh, that was the wrong setting. Got 144 left. Except I need to be able to see... I'm just gonna have to, like, bridge it temporarily. You have way too many hit points. How dare you. Let's just keep going straight up until we can go to the right to get into uh, this one. This will work. At least we'll get a few feathers while we're at it, I guess. Where'd you stop? Thank you. Further is it? Jeez. Ice rod would be really, really nice. Could you be persuaded to cease? Thank you. enough. Alright, let's find out how short we are on wire. Not as short as I thought. I think we're going to be tragically close. Ooh, giant harpy feather. We have what we need to make our first... Uh first crafted wings. Nice. And this is hit less than one screen. We're less than one screen short on wire. Okay. We also need to buy the actual teleporters, which cost a little bit. 
We did get some from the harpies. Yay, indeed. I should go get a flame lash already. So I'm pretty sure we can just jump straight up here. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of all of that for now. Let the minions farm more harpies while we do. Wings, indeed. I mean, it'll have to wait till hard mode. We need souls of flight. But, uh, yeah, to already have a giant harpy feather isn't bad. Uh, it's actually possible, if you're obscenely lucky, to get some really good wings pre-hard mode. One of the rare sets uh, that drops with the, um, like, the dev impersonating items. AK90, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we'll be putting our harpy banner up where we're planning to farm harpies. That does make a little bit of sense. Whoops. No, 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 no. So right about here should be fine. Why can't I place it? There we go. I think it was because of that droplet of water. Well, now that I randomly got at least 10 Harpy Feathers, um, I don't feel the need as much to combine fishing with Harpy Hunting. <laughs> Although the fishing is by itself is rather boring. And killing Harpies is rather profitable. Alright, let's see if we can afford... Um, I might put the giant harpy feather next to the regular harpy feathers, just so I don't lose track of it. We should be able to afford at least one teleporter. It's two gold each. And we need... I think I, I prefer levers these days. What if we need, like, literally 20 wire or so? Um, and I wanted to start from here. Why am I getting pulled to the left? Oh, because I'm hearing sandstorm music. I can't actually put this le lever here. It needs back wall stuff. You could do a little tiny bit of mushroom back wall, I guess. Can I put you here? Not quite. That doesn't look right. How about like this? That's okay, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's go to the other end. I don't believe there's anything that we can farm as a matter of opportunity in pre-hard mode in a sandstorm, is there? I'm going to have to break up this, uh, I don't really need to, but I, I want to stop the crimson from advancing through here before hard mode. Alright, up 
we go. And up we go. That's going over there. And I think we can just jump this. Just barely. Is this where our little piece of wood is? Yes, it is. Go away, Harpy. Wow, 55 damage if I'm wearing the B set. As opposed to over 100 if I'm wearing the fishing gear. That is a slight difference. Uh, I don't have any building material here except for, like, wood. Um, how about right here? Can't actually place that. Uh, I'm having trouble telling where the clouds are. There we go. And I would like to have... How about a lever like this? Okay. So we're just gonna have that go down here. And this goes across. You're joking, I'm out of wire again? That was it? Oh no, how many tiles is this? Um, 57 by 24, we need like 70 or 80 wire still. Now I have to travel all the way back here, unless I have a... I do not have a potion of return. Ravna. At least we got a couple more feathers. So we need like, let's call it 80 wire. That is 40 wire. What can we sell? Quite a lot of fish. Um, why don't I make these... Not seafood dinners. But all of the crappier stuff. And I probably could have left one of each so it quick stacks. Whoops. Um, what does flounder turn into? Workbench, sashimi. Okay. Uh, this is enough, I think. Isn't sashimi medium, though? Yeah, I'll keep the medium improvements to stats. Alright, 332 cooked fish. Uh, gives us... 21 gold? Damn. Alright. Um, that will almost certainly be enough. It's probably actually faster if I go from the middle to get there. Never turn down a mushroom. They're quite plentiful. We need them for regen potions. We can't farm them. They just pop up here and there. I suppose technically we could still kill deer clops, but it's not worth it in a million years. Maybe with bees. 
if the bees swarm around Deerclops and then they all hit them, uh, they all hit him the moment that he's vulnerable, it might not be as obnoxious to fight him. Maybe. We've still got a ways to go here. Actually, it'll be easier if we glide from up here. Oh. Thought there was more rope. Let's try that again. Boing, boing, and go. We'll at least get as far as the jumping off point, almost. Or I could just use a grav potion since we're really not having trouble getting feathers now. That might be easier. Okay, blue wire. I can see the edge of it. That's it. That should be our teleporter. Fantastic. We can go there whenever we want. And if things get hairy, we can leave with a button press. Nice. Uh, one more minion would be good while we're fishing. And... Let's get that crate. Probably should have taken the frog leg just for the money. Some spectre boots might be nice. Oh, sky crate. I almost missed it. I need to remember that I moved my gnome up here, or just go get another gnome. Might be a better way to deal with it. Uh, I didn't anticipate all the harpies getting stuck. I guess that's a good way to control how many of them we have to deal with all at once, though. As well take an iron crate. Um, my inventory is not looking so good though. Oh wait, I can come back here anytime. Uh, I shouldn't waste the crate potion time though. A few items on the ground isn't the end of the world. You know what? Get out of here, Bass. I want to pick this stuff up. Um, Zephyr fish can go in here, I guess, and we're good for the moment.
getting plenty of iron crates, but only one sky crate so far. We're really only here for the sky crate. And the feathers. And the money. And I guess the calming potions. ran out and I didn't notice. I don't really want to do a second crate potion when they last four minutes and these last eight minutes right now. So let's stack this stuff away. Um, you know what? Let me go get a gnome right now. We've got a few minutes. need to get rid of my minions for this. I'll likely kill it before it reaches the surface. And we pretty much just need to do laps here. Kill a gnome spawns. That is not a gnome. That is an explosive bunny. In a very unusual place. Here, no me, no me, no me, no me. I think I have to be below a certain depth, actually. So they're not likely to spawn while I'm up at the surface. Let's just go through here. Round and round and round we go. I guess I could do a water candle. Might be a good idea. Increase our chances of getting a spawn. They don't move around for the most part is the thing. You have to... Yep, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Follow me to the surface. Follow me to freedom. Yes. No, come on. You got this. I believe in you. Yes. Go, 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 go. You got this. Come on. There's another one right up near the surface. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, you have a minute left to make it. You're good. Fantastic. What about you? Are you still here? You have not disappeared yet. But it's looking rather difficult for you to climb that spot. Like, really difficult, actually. What if I pull you to the right and then to the left? No. I think we have to get rid of this tile. Oh, we got him, we got him. Come on, up we go. Come on, little guy. There's another one. What? When it rains, it pours. Come on, you've got 13 seconds. Come on. I believe in you. Yes, yes. You did it. Well done. Five seconds remaining. Alright, we have tripled our gnome statues. I'll leave one up where the harpies are. I'll leave one here. And I don't even know where I want to put the last one. Uh, I don't know if it affects the luck of these re-rolls, but why don't we leave him next to the Goblin Tinkerer for when we reforge. Cool, cool, cool. 
Very nice indeed. All right, now... Okay, uh, okay, Gnome, I'm counting on you. We don't have any luck potions yet left. I don't want to farm for them right now. I need this sky crate to contain wings, okay? Can you can you can you do me that favor? Can you do this one little thing for me? After I helped you obtain your freedom. That is a second shiny red balloon. They just provide extra passive luck, yeah. Uh, and I think we had wooden chests here as well. Alright, let's stack things away. I thought I put the chicken nuggies in here. I guess not. May as well make another cloud and a balloon, which is going to be a little bit better than the shark run. Uh, the horseshoe balloon, that is. Blue horseshoe balloon, pink... Yeah, the pink horseshoe balloon is a little bit weaker. Uh, we've got no shortage of lucky horseshoes. Uh, and I think I care about the jump height on my fishing loadout the most compared to the mining loadout. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Oh, there's even more. Oh yeah, let's double check what goes into a danger sense potion. Um, it's just shiverthorn and cobweb. That is cheap as chips. I can't even think of anything else I care about shiverthorn for. Shiverthorn goes into... Warmth Potion, I never use this. Love Potion, Life Force Potion, that matters, but we can't make those yet. Uh, Flipper Potion, also kind of good, but we don't need them very often. Didn't notice it goes into Titan Potion and Crate Potion. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, I did not yet remember... Oh, that's a lot of seeds. I did not yet remember to set up a farm for the Shiverthorn, not that we've had any shortage of it so far. It's probably one of the easiest farm, uh, easiest potion materials to obtain and obtain at scale. Let me just fill the jungle with moon glow because why not? Maybe I should fill the underground jungle with moon glow. Uh, this is going to look kind of pretty later on. Could you be persuaded to look the other way just once? Nope. Oh, that worm got brutalized. Rip worm. Okay. Uh, I almost forgot I came over here to buy, uh, blink root planters. And we want those down here. In the usual spot. That's not quite right. Wow, I only have three left. That was a surprisingly accurate estimate. Well, that should be all we ever need. And we may as well sell this thing.
I got depth hair dye a while ago, but I haven't seen my hair in a long time now. Gentleman's beard. I kind of, I kind of want to see. Oh, it's a vanity item, so I have to like. What? It's not consumable or something, is it? No. Huh? Uh, where does it? Oh, I see. So, gentleman's beard. I don't know what else I was expecting. Probably a bigger beard. I'd rather keep accessories that I want to swap here. Okay. Quick stack, all the things, except for that. Why do I have two more extractinators? Probably because I got them from crates. Danger sense potion. Didn't I make like 20 of these? Where did they end up getting stacked to? Could have sworn I just made like 20 danger sense potions. I guess the owls are kind of an early warning system. If I start hearing splats all over the place, I know there's some kind of enemy nearby. Let's just stack this in here. Put the wire away. And I never did place these two. Where was I even going to put them? Probably where the harpies are? Or was it for a boss fight? Oh, Deathweed's blooming. Perfect. Perfect. Give me all of it, please. And I might add another layer to this, because the de Deathweed doesn't bloom all that often. Give us another 70-ish planters. Uh, and I think one row of fire blossom here is probably going to be more than enough. I also want a deathweed glowing back at the main base so that we get to notice when it is blooming. I'll plant that first so I can't accidentally mess this up. Oh wow, it's dawn. We got there just in time as well. Caught in desert. Alright, let me grab a clay pot. And I might just put it here. And we'll just never harvest this one. We'll see it when it's blooming. That'll be our alarm to tell us it's time to go harvest Deathweed. But considering how much we just got, uh, I don't think we're going to have shortages of Deathweed in the future. I could also go and put a bunch of it over here. Or how about somewhere we can get to easily? Just cover this area in deathweed seeds. I like how they're dying. They're dying from the bees that I'm spawning by running into these one damage um, bits of spiky leaves and stuff. 
pro strats. Okay, let's put this banner... We're kind of out of room for banners over here. I'm sure I have a chest that I haven't even put anything in. This is close enough. And I guess this can go over here. I need to get more fire blossom. Then again, we find tons of it downstairs. Seeds and all. Alright, what's next? We still don't have wings. I'll probably end up just doing that off stream. Because it could potentially take so long just fishing. Or I could just try killing the wall of flesh without wings. That might be an option as well. Well, regardless, we need to clear some space uh, and find a place to fight the Wall of Flesh. So let's go start doing that. I don't really want to go all in on minions down in that place because they might do a little, a little fucky wucky. And they might summon the Wall of Flesh while we're not ready. Um, so that can wait. Don't really need the Magnet Flower for this. That'll be for boss fights, I think. Can we even see it there? Nope. Not unless it's attached itself to a piece of armor. Oh, and there's a traveling merchant I should probably say hello to. Rain bros. Vanity stuff. Okay. I'm thinking I should move the cavern pylon down here so we can teleport all the way down to the bottom of... Oh, it's time to open shadow chests as well. I did accidentally drown a shadow chest in lava over here somewhere. Um, I think this is it and we just can't see it yet. Or maybe that door is shut? Regardless, uh, I think I'd like to make a proper base for the cavern. I already did, though. That's where our blink root is. Hmm. Maybe I could make the hollow base down here when the time comes. But that'll be after I want to keep making trips down here. I'll, I'll probably just find the last conch. And I'll sort that out. And it's nice that we won't have to carry three things for this. Alright, so I do want to take a couple of imps. Uh, probably not three, because I want to be able to switch them off. Without wasting anything. If I see a voodoo demon, I don't want to risk the minions killing it. Well, killing it in the wrong place. Fishing stream. Kid Shua, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we're here. Uh, I actually... Oh god, oh, it's already happening. Nope, nope, bad imp, bad imp. 
I need to be careful about when he dies. Oh god, he's surprisingly vulnerable to bees. Okay. Alright, obsidian skin. There we go, I can walk around without that arbitrary item. Oh, wow. Uh, how many imps have we killed? Six, and we got the obsidian rose. That is lucky. I'll take it. Yeah, bees are very strong down here. Let's open... Oh my god. <laughs> we got flame lash. What is going on? Luck so spiky. So in two seconds we got Obsidian Rose and we got Flame Lash. And we got two vi uh, Voodoo Dolls as well. Ouch. Uh, there's only one item left before I can get the Terra Spark Boots. Uh, treasure magnet, always a favorite. Especially when I can just, like, toggle it on and off like this. I think I'll swap it out for the shield or something. Oh, my inventory's already full. Uh, I don't need obsidian platforms or brick walls. I do need fire blossom. Oops, oops, double oops. Oh god, oh no. It's all coming apart. How many imps do you need? Stop it. Stop it, I say. That dealt a surprising amount of damage. I feel like they buffed Bone Serpents, or maybe it's the seed. Because this is a lot. Okay, don't need no glow sticks. And let's open all the pots. Plastic. That's insane luck, yeah. I get insanely bad luck, and then I get insanely good luck. It's very spiky. I've heard RNG is clumpy, but it feels like Terraria goes out of its way to give me the clumpiest of RNG. Uh, especially if I don't play it after a while. Like, you know, I'll spend ages looking for some item and I'll give up, and then the next play session, three of them will fall into my lap. That's another shadow chest. That's another flame... That's a masterful flame lance. That's almost as good as it gets. Uh, I'll definitely be taking that. Got a lot of Spelunker potions as well. One more shadow chest down here. And don't care about any of this. But I'll take it for the money, I suppose. Don't need a chandelier. Get out. How how this says it's a chandelier. Not put it up here though. Okay. Uh, give me the treasure magnet and I guess get out of here, Hellstone block. There we go. Also, I shouldn't still be carrying a magic missile. Don't. Drop the cell phone for some bloody glow sticks when it's a favorited item. 
Okay. Uh, magic missile can go in here. We've got two obsidian roses. Okay, then. Um, we only need one more item to get the Terra Spark boots, I believe. And that is... Well, to make the Lava Waders, which is the only prereq left, we need Molten Charm. I don't remember if Molten Charm can be picked up straight from the Shadow Chests. I think so. Because I'm pretty sure if you're lucky, you don't have to fish for anything, right? But we'll most likely just get 700 Hellwing Bows and usually zero Flame Lashes. So, so far we're doing pretty well. Um, where do I want to put these spicy potions? In here for now, I guess. Resto potions? Uh, probably... I'm pretty sure Resto potions and Honey Fin are equal for best healing per second. Free hard mode. This gives you a reduced life and cooldown. Uh, and the honey fin just gives you more life. Healing potions are a prereq for something else though, so I'll put that away. Treasure magnet combines with... I don't actually have an ancient chisel yet. We're still waiting for the traveling merchant. Uh, to offer us, offer us the right stuff to get the gizmo pack. And then I would have to find a chisel. Which I still don't have, even though I have like a mining loadout. Darklands, don't care. Dynamite, don't really care. And then... And then back to opening shadow chests, I guess. And hope our luck continues. I need to go to the trouble of digging out um, areas like this for the spreading biomes before hard mode as well. We still have obsidian skin. We do not. That's actually a bit of a problem. Ooh, fire blossom seeds. Yes, please. Uh, we can easily make obsidian skin potions. It's just that I have to go back and do it. Alternatively, I could just use the obsidian shield and reduce my damage slightly. That's... That's a possibility. Oh, except it doesn't give us lava immunity, that's all. But we're not finding Hellstone, so like, we don't really need the lava immunity. What's dying? Oh, something in the lava. It's actually a few more buildings. One, two, three, four more buildings. Number five is where we will see another shadow chest. Four. And five. Where did that imp go? Ouch. That was an anti-dodge. Throw off my... Homing missile. And I definitely want to pick up the... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Why do fire bats cause so much damage? I definitely want that voodoo doll. Well, he's coming to us whether we like it or not. Because I want to be able to kill Wall of Flesh back to back. As soon as we kill him once. Do 
there are certain items that we will be needing from him. Oh, bollocks. Alright, let's stop underestimating this place. And how about a calming potion as well? Since I'm trying... That was water walking. What a waste. I guess we're getting close to having the Terra's Bark boots, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm here for the chests, not the monster farming. Oh, that's something else. Uh-oh. That's something else I don't have fishing-wise. I don't have the magma fishing hook. This is actually the first thing I can use to magma fish. And now we find an obsidian skin potion. Figures. I feel like this seed gives us more voodoo demons. Um, maybe it's my imagination. Give me that. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, how about some honey? There we go. Where's the next shadow chest? Across a couple of lakes of fire. Let's get going. You know what? I think I will take the obsidian skin potion. So I just don't have to fear lava. Because I don't want to have to dodge around it while dodging other stuff. Oh, I also took water walking, so that'll... That'll mean I'm not falling into the lava. Actually. Okay, what do we have here? Sun Fury is just a slightly better blue moon. But I'll take it, I guess. This isn't actually lava, is it? It is. I don't want the shadow chest to disappear. So, pour it down there, please. I don't understand how ash works anymore. We can catch our breath and reevaluate. We've got six, five or six minutes on all of our buffs right now. Water walking goes in here. Obsidian skin goes here, and I don't think this will break the shadow chest. There we go. I do like the look of them, and we can't make them. Alright, down we... How did that hit me? How dare you. More of the same. Um, this goes in here. Yet another treasure magnet. We can quick stack a little bit. Now we're truly completely full. Uh, why did I loot all? I guess that's one way to find an inventory slot. Give me the fire blossom. And give me that mana and that's the one I was talking about that I left under the magma. I'll just dash through this. Oh, it didn't even let any through. And we get a flower. Excuse me. A flower of fire. Um, and also some more of this stuff. 
I should probably stop keeping all these uh, grave markers in the piggy bank. I completely didn't even notice I'd still been doing that. Um, I think I care the least about a little bit of dynamite. And... Don't even see any more shadow chests over here, so we may as well go. Alright. Sun Fury, strong Sun Fury, sure. I've never really cared for the Dark Lance. Flower of Fire is very, very mana hungry. 60 magic damage for 12 mana with this set. Versus 34 for 7, but it pierces. 46 times 2 for 18. So like 92 for 18. Uh, versus... I guess that's about the same, but it's not as controllable. Anyway, I'll keep just one. Fire Blossom Seeds, go over here. I'll definitely take some stars. I think I will use the Star Cannon. I haven't I haven't used it in ages. I want to see how powerful it is against the Wall of Flesh still. I don't think we did our Desert Fishing. Oops. Do we have time? Probably not. We've got 15 seconds. Rock Lobster. Flounder. 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 We missed it. Okay. What's our fishing quest today? Underground and caverns. I don't suppose you would give me a lava proof fishing hook for this fishing quest? Uh, that's a no. Unfortunately. What lurks below? Indeed. Alright. I think once I get five or ten magma snails together, we'll do some lava fishing. If I haven't found the last piece of the boots. And... I think we're pretty much good to go down there right now. I do want some more uh, obsidian skin potions, which for that I'm going to need some obsidian. Battle potion? We need vertebrae for that. I haven't been using any battle... I haven't found any random battle potions this playthrough, I don't think. Anyway, let's clear out this mess. Furious. Hmm, not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, Blue Moon, get out of here. Zephyr Fish, get out of here. Bone Welder, all of these gravestone markers. And why do I have two guides to plant fiber cordage? Probably because it got quick stacked before I even knew I had it. Put the gravestone markers in here, I guess. So we can make a graveyard biome when we need to. 
Come to think of it. Um, I don't think we can do this before hard mode. But let's just double check. Can we buy the seeds for the opposite evil biome? Or does it have to be at night? Possibly. Guide to environmental preservation. So this is where we get it from. Prevents you from accidentally destroying the environment while in inventory. I remember liking this, but then there were situations where I didn't like it. And if we combine these two, we can right-click and deactivate the effects of both of them at the same time. Uh, so, I don't know. Might just hold on to it. Material... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, let's go sell this stuff. I'll hold on to the magma snail. What the? Uh, and I want to go get a bunch more magma snails and hopefully the last piece of the puzzle to make the ultimate boots. So I don't have to lava fish for it. Then again, there are some things we need to lava fish for anyway. Like if we want to use Potion of Return more than three, five times the entire playthrough. Do we still have Calming Potion? We have 17 seconds. Um... Obsidian skin. Uh, that's probably pretty much it, as long as I can avoid things. Random grab potion, let's go. I guess water walking would be convenient here. That is a bomb. Now everything is breaking. Nothing too valuable down here, it looks like. Hello, T Hex. Love, Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Feel good? Not too bad. Been a little sick, but I think I'm okay. Alright, let's give you the bees. Fantastic. Ouch, ouch. Holy crap, bats are OP. Damn. Take care, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, what time is it? We've still got like 35 minutes or so. Alright, shadow chest. More of the same. Unfortunate. Nothing else down here. Sometimes there's shadow chests up here. Not too often. Let's take that fire blossom. I see another shadow chest. Another flame lash.
That's a live bomb. That is a featherfall potion. I'll be taking that. Alright, I guess we'll go through here. Shadow chests, I don't see any. Gimme, give gimme give all the stuff. Every single one. That's a bomb. Ouchie. That tickles at this point. Oh yeah, I need to make crispy honey blocks for... I think it's only for fishing potions, actually, and we've got a million of those from fishing quests, so who cares. Okay. I should probably be ignoring most of this stuff at this point. Just look for the shadow chests. There are a few potions that are quite rare slash expensive that we find this way, but I really just want to find all the shadow chests and get the one or two items that we don't have yet. what to draw. Can we quick stack? Yes we can. And yoink. That is not how you yoink. Let's just go straight through here. Don't need no lava slimes. More of the same. I see another shadow chest to the right. Guess I'll go this way. Oh, I've actually got a lot of room. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Hurts. Nope, stop it, stop it. Um, give me another obsidian skin. There we go. That's a bomb. And that's a dynamite. Oh, I hope I don't kill that butterfly. I think... I think the lava ate the, uh... Uh, ate the explosion. Or the explosive. Do I really want to waste 30 healing potions? Yeah, I've got literally hundreds. Back at base. Give me that fire blossom seed. Take the high road. I don't love the way Ash behaves. Very unpredictable. Let's get one more voodoo doll. You are distracting. Could you come over here for a sec? Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. 
And you too. Good imp. Well, that hurt a little bit, but we got the guide voodoo doll safely. There we go. And why don't we just stack this stuff in there? Another one? Could you come inside, please? Away from the lava? Thank you. And yet another one. It has to be this seed. There's no way I'm just getting this many guide voodoo dolls all the time. I've, I've barely seen any... Um, I've barely seen any non-voodoo uh, demons. Up we go, down we go. Let's find out if there's any shadow chests down here. There are. And we get more of the same, basically. Funno potion can go here. Um, what am I dropping? There we go. Yeah, I think I can probably stop having the sense of scarcity of guide voodoo dolls at this point. We've got, what, 12 in my inventory? Oh, 13. Perfect. The perfect number of guide voodoo dolls. I would be very surprised if we kill the wall of flesh 13 times and don't get what we're looking for. Then again, we should probably assume failure at least a couple of times, since every boss is upgraded, and often in some sadistic ways. Um, but yeah, I think at this rate we're just going to have to do some lava fishing to get our boots. Oop, that's a bomb. I'll just keep going until I have to go back because inventory and stuff. And then we'll try some lava fishing. Unfortunately, I only have two pieces of bait so far. There's our demonic hellcart. Nice. It's actually... Not what I was looking for, but it's about time. So for seven whole seconds we can plow through the lava with that. Ornate Shadow Key gives us a pet mimic. Could you be persuaded to stop? Is this under the jungle? It is. Uh, quick stack. And Inferno Potion. Shadow Chests, I guess. Actually, no, keep the shadow chests there. That gives us a few stacks. Put the stupid mine carp in here. And... Let's skip this building. Whoops. Oh. Sorry, young explosion, I didn't see you there. Um, that will have to do. At this rate, we're going to get out of the demon town. Oh, burning. Ouch, hurts bad. Why do I already have to take another obsidian skin potion, though? I think I can skip the water walking though, actually. There 
there's another shadow chest or two. I don't suppose I'm carrying... Oh, yeah, potion of return. Perfect. Let's just use it. Stack stuff away. Pet mimic. Always fun. I like to put pets and things over here. Should probably put bait in with the other bait. And let's plant our fire blossom. Well, we're too short of finishing the row. That's deathweed here, I think, though. One, two, three, four, five, six more fire blossom seeds. I think we would have that top row finished. But yeah, we've got more fire blossom than we will be needing. I still haven't made a void bag. I got so used to not having it. Let's go. Where are bones? Bones are in here because potions. Uh, scale or tissue sample in here. And I believe the rest is jungle spore. I don't know where my nearest... Um... Where my nearest crimson altar is on this... Actually, I know a pretty close one. Let's go. Magic card. Run over here. Isn't this where I planted all that deathweed? Yes, it is. Don't really want to break it. Nope. And that hits like a truck, actually. Here we go. A void bag. Fantastic. And maybe a void vault as well. Very good. Very, very, very good. It's about time. Uh, I guess there's nothing else I want to do while I'm here. And I probably want to put the Void Vault... I don't even know where, to be honest. Over there is fine. That's the wrong pylon. And let's get back to it. We loot... We take, we open, we find more of the same again. That mimic is actually freaking and distracting me. Let's turn that off. Two minutes left on, ow, on obsidian skin potion. Hey look, a normal voodoo team a uh, non-voodoo demon. Ouch. Uh could you not for a sec? So I can make sure I don't summon the wall of flesh. Thank you. And we got a demon scythe. Kind of surprising it took this long to get it, not that it's that great of a spell. Uh, it's pretty good against the Wall of Flesh, I think, because it pierces everything. And the fact that it launches slowly doesn't matter in that context. Alright, any shadow chests down here? Absolutely not. I haven't seen any more bait that we could use. If we built a town down here... Uh, we get a lot more critters spawning. 
that was one of the great benefits of don't dig up is town starting this far down uh, once you had the once you had the lava proof bug net you just had an infinite supply of 35% bait that was also you could use it for lava fishing maybe I should build a town down here Oh, it counts as the underworld, so I don't think we could use the caverns pylon, though. I have built an accidental town in the underworld before when I was making a little fishing spot. Um, and people will move in. Because they are very smart. Let's do a little regen. I don't really need a piano. Ow, 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 ow! Jeez! That's sneaky! Being immune to lava, I didn't think jumping into lava I would be hurt by a Frickin' flame geyser. Where even is it? I can't even see it. That's it. That's what I just destroyed right there. Bruh. That is so dirty. I'm never, ever getting the items I'm looking for through these chests, am I? I think I probably have to fish for them. I mean, I could check the wiki, but... I'm not going to do that in midstream, I think. I do want to find the edge of the demon town this trip. If we're starting to see geysers, does that mean we're near the end? Uh, probably, yeah, that's probably the end right there. Cool, cool, cool. Considering how high I can fly with just one double jump and... Frost Spark Boots. Um, the wings really aren't strictly necessary. But even just flapping them sometimes to control descent a bit is not to be underestimated the value of that. I really don't want to fight this voodoo demon in this place. It's, oh wow. Oh wow. This is different. This is starting to look like the don't dig up seed. Looks very cool. It, it's kind of like that except it's not, you know, safe and flat over here. Is this just part of the Labor of Love update, or is it special seeds? This kind of terrain. With the shade wood. Is it called shade wood? Some kind of special wood that only grows here. Whatever the case, it looks nice. It definitely looks a lot nicer than what it used to look like. And that's the end of the map. Okay. 
could you could you actually not do that? So this is an exploration. Give me that battle potion. Okay, so we know where the edge is. Um, the terrain is... Oh god, why? The terrain actually looks pretty good, I think, for fighting the Wall of Flesh. Because we've we've got cover to hide behind from the lasers all the time as we spam bees around the corner. It should be relatively easy. Assuming that just keeping our distance and spamming bees works uh, just as well, despite the fact that the Wall of Flesh will no doubt be much more powerful than usual. I should stop putting weapons in here. This should be for accessories. Okay. So I guess we'll try some lava fishing. I only have three pieces of bait, though. How do I deliberately acquire bait? In what area do I hang around? Where this stuff spawns and not so much the enemies. I guess I could try making a town over here somewhere. Then I'd be building in my area where I'm fighting the Wall of Flesh. Where I'm not supposed to be building arenas. We could hope we get lucky with like three pieces of bait. Do we ever fish up more bait? I don't think we do. I don't think we do fish up specifically like magma bait. Um, from lava fishing. I think the play fishing wise is to, even though we've got the cell phone already and everything else, the only thing that really matters that we don't have is the lava fishing hook. Just have to keep going for that. Why can't I... Oh, my mana. That's probably why. Okay. Fishing time. I said fishing time. That was easy. Much more preparation than fishing there. Give me magma fishing hook. Lava fishing hook. Angler earring. Well, it's one of the two or three items that we still don't have. Unfortunately, it doesn't really help. Uh, we're now only missing the tackle box and the lava fishing hook, I believe. Still, uh, may as well put the earring on. That's where I put my arctic diving gear. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Or maybe I should keep it on the mining set, because sometimes we keep digging underwater. Anyway. Let's put 
this in here. Uh, I guess we may as well try with our three pieces of bait. I think I go down here. That'll be the safest place to do some magma fishing. And I definitely do want my imps this time. Uh, and the master bait can get deprioritized, basically. Whoops. Alright. I don't have any... any appropriate potions right now. Obsidian skin. And we might want to dig this out a bit. Now. To make sure we've got a big enough uh, body of lava that doesn't have an overhang. So we get maximum fishing power. I could take a mining potion, but we're almost there already. Ash... the, the rules for Ash to fall down seem deliberately inconsistent. Like, there's some RNG involved. Oh god. Oh no. I thought I had... Oh, I don't have lava waders yet. They don't work. Here. Okay, let's take a water walking potion. And we fish. I think I'd better take all the buffs available to me for this one. City fish, far and koi is a nice start, but I really, really want some crates. There we go. That'll do. We've already lost our best bait. We've only got two left. Maybe I should skip the obsidian fish when I see them? And try and wait for a crate. Did that imp just like leave? can really take a while to get a bite. Yep, there we go. Two obsidian crates. Not bad. We've still got two bait left. I didn't mean to take the obsidian fish. This is not what I want to see. Hundred and sixteen damages. Yikes. Okay, I missed a uh, obsidian fish, I think. That's fine. Oh god. That's not fine. Alright, well we got two crates. Let's see what we get. I guess I should have switched and fought it myself. Uh I think I I think I will fish up a luck potion though. For this one.
Maybe that's where I should put my third, um... Oh, no, wait, I already did decide where to put the garden home. If I find another one, I'll put it here. Oasis crate. Maybe we'll get our chisel. Alright, let's try opening these oysters. Nothing. I'm just gonna open it. We got our chisel! Fantastic. That is something. Uh, 25% better mining speed on top of 20% here. Very good. Probably combine that with... Um, Uh, with the faster swing speed as well. And let's try opening our obsidian crates. We get... Oh, th we got the lockboxes, so we don't know yet. Um, have a lava serpent. Let me just put this here, actually. Flame walker boots are just vanity, I think. Yep. Let me just put these aside so I don't have to think about them for a second. Fish should go in here. Vanity boots. Go over here, I guess, because we can combine them with something. Alright. Obsidian lockbox. Give me what we need. That is... That is more of the same. That is unfortunate. Alright, so I guess I'll be continuing over in this direction. There's like... I think we've explored about three quarters of the demon town. So there's a few more shadow chests over here. And if I don't get... Uh, what is it called? Uh, if I don't get... Molten Charm from that, I'll have to fish it up. And considering we don't have a lava fishing hook and how difficult it is to find bait for lava fishing, that could take a little while. I also need to fish up some wings from the sky. We'll also be digging out a gap around our towns that we don't want to get overrun by corruption. Uh, it's probably most tricky around the desert pylon. I can probably dig through like this way and find the type of sand blocks that don't cause a collapse. And we'll dig down here. Even make it look kind of natural. Uh, there isn't really much left to get out of the dungeon for pre-hard mode. There's a Muramasa, which is a sword I prefer, but Sun Fury is kind of decent. I don't love the mace at this stage, but it does a lot of damage to make up for it. Uh, and obviously, theoretically, there's... Uh, Deoclops, but... Don't do Deoclops. It's not worth it. I think we got everything we could ever want from the desert as well now. We got the chisel and we got the magic conch. We also, we're also looking for the demon conch. I can't remember if that is from shadow chests and or fishing. Uh, probably. Either that or it's just a rare drop down there from enemies. But suffice to say, uh, next week we'll definitely be jumping into hard mode. Because basically all that we have left now is prep for hard mode and rounding off a couple of the hard to get items for pre-hard mode. 
Rip indeed. Alright, so let's see who's streaming Terraria this week. Um, I wonder if anyone else is doing For the Worthy or something. I'm seeing some very random and generic titles. No sleep till Moonlight is dead. Um, it's a kind of a difficult choice, to be honest. Zenith Swords only? Master Mode? Alright, let's have a look. Okay. Seems good. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, till next time, stay safe. Take care, love Kelly. Thanks for hanging out. A couple of days we'll be continuing with uh, Long War of the Chosen. And then back to Oxygen Not Included. And then some more Factorio. Space Exploration with K2. Till then, take care. For my soul. Oh, damn. Generation really sent this one down. Well, Generation's been a bit funky. Oh. The, oh, oh my god. 57 people. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs>